when you started? Check, 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 check. Titties. No, because we did a bunch of like EP episodes. Titties. Too, you know, okay. Like when we were shitty. Big we ass motherfucking titties. I just oh, need to titties, titties. Oh, we, were we live? We are now. I mean, we just, it, it was, oh, it was some shit. stuff going on here, folks. Like, so just titties, titties, big ass titties. Big ass titties. Give us a round of applause. Let's lead in. I mean, we didn't yeah. have any music. Let's lead in with a round of a fucking applause. Pretty bu- much. Oh, we, have, we have sounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 the oh, first one. The first one. No, no, we don't. It doesn't. None of that happens over here. I can't hear it. I can't hear it either. Like, I don't know if it's happening. If they hear it, I don't. It's just, if it's going, I hope y'all hear it. Because I don't hear shit. Can anyone hear us? Is anybody out there? <laughs> right. <laughs> right there. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. But <laughs> it say we live, and I can hear our voices, so y'all there just gonna go. have to deal with it. Fuck it. I like, guess. Yeah. Let's, let's open the app, because I don't even know. This is weird. Oh, I got the, I know that shit open. Like The fucking... Um, the chat is open? Yeah, it's check uh, the chat and see if Keith is saying because this, this is this is weird. This is just good to see because we experience this on a weekly basis. And oh no, nah. that's, that's why I was telling you yeah, we had EP episodes because we shit down our leg on a bunch of episodes just trying to get in shape. Uh, so I get that. Yeah, well, we I know I've said this before, but that's just how you know niggas in a professional setting. Like we shit down our leg. Like that's how I know I'm like <laughs> work. Like, <laughs> So we shit the bed on that leg? one. Shit down your leg? Yeah, like that just sounds like some that shit. That sounds like, terrible. Yeah, yeah, but that's just like I've noticed like a lot of really professional people will say like weird shit like that. Like instead of saying you fucked up, really shit down our leg on that I, one. Like I'm having that experience right now with yeah. you. You yeah. said it and I'm disturbed. See? I've, I've heard if shit the that's bed. It. That's the move. I've heard shit the shit bed. Shit the bed I've is what oh, I Shit no, the bed yeah. for sure. I get shit the bed a lot. Like shit down the leg is what I heard from it him, which made me think that he was way more professional than me. Which I still think. Shit down your leg came from when I played football. My coach would always say that because shit down your leg means he would always say that you were on stage, like you were. It was you're on a spot and you were, you froze up. He just shit down your leg. <laughs> is shitting down your leg? Wor- I feel like shit in so, the bed is worse than shitting down your leg. No, shit, shit in the bed. You're at home. Talk, we're talking about whose the bed are you in? But it's my bed. I gotta clean that bed. It's shit in there. But you got shit down your leg. You gotta get home you somewhere. Gotta buy to, a new like, bed. You gotta get in the <laughs> yeah, car. See, you gotta buy a new bed. You have to get a new car. You, you gotta, gotta get in the car with shit on your it. leg. Now it's once you your car is you trapped. You have to get in the car. No, but see, I can no, get sir. if I get ass naked and find somebody front yard in I'm your good. car. Yeah, your yeah, buddy's gonna up in your car. Yeah, that's why you don't want to go in your car. Here. You shit don't want to go leg. But with, it's like shit on your leg, and now that's another problem of shitting down your leg. I'm at home. I think I throw the mattress away and I go buy. This is the name of the episode. What if I shit down? What if I shit down my leg in the bed? Now I'm super fucked. Oh, well, how would you shit down your leg? I think you're doing both. Regardless, you're laying down. That. What if I'm, I don't know. Here's the thing. Here's a lot of shit. thing. If it's explosive, it's everywhere. I think the idea of shit in the bed is probably way deeper than any of us realize because I toss and turn in my sleep. Wow. Oh, wow. Damn. So, yeah, that's a whole hot That's some mess powerful set. shit. Let me tell you something. I can deal with, I can deal with anything <laughs> like my own shit. When I have to like explain things to people, the public idea of shitting down your leg and being somewhere, <laughs> and I have to like walk past <laughs> women and little kids, oh. and it's like a seven-year-old who's going to be like, this guy smells like shit, mom. Wow. Nigga, you just yeah. stopped shitting yesterday. Fuck, we the same. I, I'm, not, I'm not taking nothing from no seven-year-old. Yeah, but he's going to like pull out a cigarette and be like, Yo, <laughs> fuck you. You're an adult and you shit like it's just yeah, so I would, much no, that goes I would just yeah I would double down on the I'm terrible good. shit like if I if a seven year old was like you shit I'm like this is what you got to look forward to you see <laughs> yeah then it gets no better like <laughs> this is life. what are you seven is all down here from here <laughs> fuck I saw an ad for now that we're all into it I saw an ad the other day for uh, like new bidets that you can just attach to your current toilet <laughs> that's, that's and they're pushing that a lot in the U S now yeah. it's so it's you just shoot common toilet water up your ass. ass. Not, I mean, you can if you accidentally, you can like set that on high and like get a full a little colonic action. They is don't it, want any of that. Is it portable but for shit down for your leg situation? Was was from a kid's POV. Like uh, he's like ten years old, nine years old, and he's talking about like, oh, we as kids know that you guys suck at wiping your ass. Ah! And there's a shot of him with a gas mask on behind, like you know, nose wow. level with an ass. I seen that. And he's like, we know better because we're at this level. Where we can smell your asses and you're not doing a good job. I always am so like. So that was the the ad advertisement. That's creepy as fuck. Like somebody. Such a weird thing. What happens at companies? That's what that's what I'm always wondering about. Like I don't and get even. Who's the director? That's kind of like it never stops. It's like. Not even director. Cut. I want to be in the room where like put the, his where they face pitching closer to the, the ass. Some dude sat up the there. He's like, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. So we got kids, right? Because it's out of your ass. You shit. No, you shit out wait. Of, like, I want, stop. Okay. I, want I hate. I hate that fucking stereotype that every bad idea comes from a joint. Stop that shit, y'all. No, usually it comes no, from coke. Like fuck that. that. I like fuck that. that. Every bad idea does not come from a joint. My bad. People who, especially, Forget that me. always come from people. Who, no, not just you. <laughs> Hang not on. just you. Not My just bad. You. I'm gonna redo it. 
right. All right. Fuck yeah. All right. I got an idea. That's better. I've never done coke. I'll have no idea I'll, what the hey, look, I'll take, I don't hey, know what to do. Here. I just know. I'm not going to take pothead slander. Weed. I'll take coke. Head. I'll take coke slander. If y'all coke people want to get mad at me, fuck y'all. There you go. You, you can attack the coke head community. That's too <laughs> much. That's, that's like rapid fire. I, yeah. I get it from a whole nother level because with the artwork that I make, most people are immediately like, what were you on, on. to yeah. come up with that idea? It's like. Inspiration, bitch. Life, that's yeah, I, yeah, exactly. A lifetime of this shit. Like You get asked that? All the time. That's crazy. It's like it's probably in my top. Anytime 10. people see things that are beyond their imagination, that was yes. a hell of a segue. Yeah, we went crazy. from like shit to like weed. I was like, to say, they like, always I'm are like, what we were you? Sm- what like, were you smoking <laughs> when you did that? Like, if you make a crazy dish or if you're cooking food and you think to mix something, like, what were you smoking? Time to think of that. I'm sorry, we didn't even all innovation. Like, our guests, like, holy oh, yeah, yeah, shit! Just like, yeah, yeah, like, because I'm about to dive right into like, bro, as an artist, but like, I just want you guys to introduce yourselves. We got guests here today. All right, uh, let me let's properly introduce. We just threw an introduction in their lap. Right. Um, <laughs> just a dope ass family. Uh, we Where would are you like from? Intru- who, are you, who you is, bro? We have guests on. Um, we met one of these gentlemen at the BET Experience, and he was probably one of the most gracious, important people that we've ever met. <laughs> and he had no reason to take our time to talk to us, and really like gave us his email, and then responded to our emails, and corresponded with us, and had dialogue with us, and actually came to our fucking show on a saturday so we want to um thank this gentleman and allow him and his partner in the air it out show mm-hmm. ass. a motherfucking amazing artist we i'm not gonna give up too much you gentlemen explain yourselves and explain what the fuck you do where yeah. you're from sure my name is dano he's uh, the gracious gentleman yeah, <laughs> yeah let me let me take that one i'm the gracious gentleman here uh i'm the director editor at sneaker inc mm. Uh, and we were working our booth at BET Experience for our book coming out later this year, The the Art of Sneakers. Uh, and at E3, we had that same booth up, but we had uh, my co-host for our podcast, The Art Out Show, Freehand Profit there, working on a mask. That's me. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm Freehand Profit, otherwise known as uh, Gary Lockwood. Uh, for the last nine years, I've been making one-of-a-kind masks out of uh, highly coveted sneakers. It's dope. And th- that is one of the reasons why. That's what pulled me to the booth, low-key. Like, everybody likes sneakers and shit, but I was like, I, I was like, oh, shit, that's made out of shoes. I'm yeah. going to come over here and fuck with this. I was so surprised, actually, with the amount of interest at both uh, conventions, mm-hmm. BET and E3. Uh, E3, I think uh, it was easier because he was there working, and he had his insane Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet, Gauntlet uh-huh. out on display. So, like, any of the like relative nerdy people there were like holy oh, yeah, shit absolutely. they were just like magnetized to it they were like what is this and that brought in a lot of attention uh but BET we were more like in a corner but people still like made their way over and were like definitely interested a lot of photos it was a unique setup like you guys like the way it was like put together the shit just it like was eye catching that's that's kind of what got me before I even saw what was going on I was like okay this is cool well, we appreciate I, that thank you yeah everybody else kind of had um I don't know. They had booths, but it was more just a display booth. You guys kind of transformed and made it a store. Yeah. And so it was an experience when you walked in. You got to go in and get. It was almost like you got away from the event. It was almost like being on Melrose and going into a store. And so it's like you're off the street. You were engulfed in what was Sneaker Inc. So it allowed you to be able to take in everything you guys had as almost a separate event. That's the best compliment I think we could get. For the booth. No, yeah, yeah, no, no. Was, right yeah. Yeah. that shit was fire. Yeah. yeah. So Appreciate that's what it. that's what made it dope. And then. Um, no, and then the art pieces that you guys just had. I, I had no fucking clue that those were yours. Some of them, yeah. So yeah, I'm so one of, uh, what is it, 15, 16 artists uh, yes. in Art of Sneakers. And we all, in our own way, reimagine and just kind of celebrate sneaker culture and, and streetwear and Art of Sneakers, are you guys like the Justice League? <laughs> <laughs> shit? Like, hold on, break that down. Because you said No, 16. yeah, because like, I'm, I'm, I've been waiting. Yeah. Like, since you told me about it, I've been low-key checking. I was like, when this yeah, book's going to drop, goddammit, and I need that oh, shit no, in my it, life. We, but there are, when, we the gallery, mm-hmm. there, when we open the gallery, which literally is down the street mm-hmm. from you guys, we're having our gallery open relatively soon. We're going to have some soft open parties, stuff like that. You two are definitely going to be invited. I yeah, we're going to do that. Just walk right over after the show. <laughs> we're going to have space for a lot of the artists to come in and do and have a setup and make make their work and so you get to know uh the artist better there you go yeah and we're gonna that do works. some of our podcasts out of there at least one episode we're yeah gonna do out of that space. We, for sure there. so yeah like we're gonna figure something out for sure uh we're very excited for that and then there'll be pre-orders of the book that come with that and I'm then that. later this year i think it's november or december mm-hmm. there 
it's hard to close on all the details that go into a book and of like course. really say like this is done mm, like because yeah. then you're just flipping through and you're like ooh I wanna uh, you little know, like yeah it's never little done. little things and there's people working very very hard to make all that happen. How did you like come up with like I mean I know I clearly like artists by just trade but like how do you come up with the idea to merge shoes and there art? There we go and go like oh yeah you know just because I get like. I seeing it on the outside, I'm like, this is fucking amazing. But in my mind, I'll be like, I would have never thought of doing this shit. That thought process. And and that's, I guess, why we were fighting against that pothead stereotype. Like, what were you smoking? How much did, like. So, I know, you know, all the different artists, we have kind of a lot of similarities, but different approaches to why we have chose sneakers and why they've inspired us. Um, for me, it was through hip hop culture. Mm. And uh, the idea came to me through a year long daily project I did called Mask 365. And every day for that year, I would make or design a mask out of different materials. And I was really looking for something that meant something to me. Like, I, I would paint and draw my whole life, but paint and pencils don't have any, like, inherent value to me so what if there was like a sacrifice in order to make the work that i wanted to make Mm. uh and so i uh i started cutting up sneakers holy shit but you know it was it was small at first it was a pair of 20 dollar uh sb blazers that i picked up at the nike outlet and i've spent more than that on a canvas so it wasn't like breaking material yeah yeah like those were my training wheels. It wasn't like a yeah, huge. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't start with the Yeezys and stuff. No, I didn't. <laughs> That's but some the, real art. But the idea, shit, though, but like, again, like it's so much behind it. That's such yeah, a like layered. no gas. Like you know, you look like you know, you be watching uh, whatever artsy movie, and it's like this one was in Paris for twenty years painting. He was like, no, like I wanted the shit to feel away. That shit hit, bro. That's some real cool shit. No, I mean he talked about hip hop. One of my favorite hip hop albums of all time is Styles P. Against the Gentleman. And so it's you, Are you familiar with the yeah. album? So oh, yeah. you're gonna know the skit But it's a part on there Where one It's a guy talking And he's like Fuck who you would shoot for me Fuck what would you do for me What would you give up for me What yeah. would you sacrifice yeah. for me yep. And the idea that it's like 20 bucks is not a lot But when you said It would pair SB Blazers mm-hmm. Puckered a little bit Like ooh mm-hmm. Ooh that was the first ones you cut up with no Reeboks? You didn't cut up no Reeboks? <laughs> like, After uh, The first one was uh, Nike Second uh, Converse Uh even a, hit that pair of Converse, like you just cut up a fresh pair of Converse, like you know, I don't, I don't think the Converse were fresh. Okay, okay, I think the because I mean, like, but even like nobody a likes pair a dirty fresh pair of Converse. Converse. Yeah, like, see, to me that, 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 that wasn't better. Like you, yeah, that made exactly. it worse that they weren't. To me, that speaks to the art though, because like it don't make if this nigga was like cutting up some uh, some sketchers, I wouldn't give a shit about it. But, no, but that's like, what I'm saying. The yeah, level of sacrifice. That's yeah. why I referenced that skit because to me, I've always taken that with me everywhere I've gone because those two things are gangsta and gentleman. I can't wait for somebody. Like, fucking Skechers, Skechers are amazing. Have, shit. Have, like, <laughs> they did. Yeah. They tried. Yeah, Skechers they China that tree. Were, were were barking loud, but they yeah, I guess were not Skechers? getting through. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked. I've worked with a lot of brands. That's one I definitely was like, nah, I don't think this. What is the fuck, work. Skechers? Go ahead, Joe Montana in the mask. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Oh um, no, that is. Um, that just made me think of like a Skechers Bane. That's the worst yeah. shit ever. Yeah. <laughs> pain. That actually kind of works. Yeah, right. That's horrible. Um, somebody got to be the villain. Somebody's got to be the <laughs> villain, right? I think I was born with the trash. trash. <laughs> <laughs> I was born ripping off other people's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> just a dark screen, just white words, shape up. There's so, yeah. there's so many right. titles that came later. Like, we'll smoke with all They got sued shit. for those shape ups. Shut they the fuck did. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. it was like a class action joint, right? By who? Because it wasn't this whole like, oh, we'll do All these the things. Soft body <laughs> they said mom. it would do yeah. certain these very specific things. You got a class your, action because because of flabby butts. Yeah, they yeah, said yeah. it would. Huh. Yeah, and it was like that's all horseshit. Flabby so that's butts. false advertising. Oh wow! Damn. Damn. It was just people. They were just getting house moms that were like, "I'm gonna push these strollers and get a nice ass Dude, for time." They sold a lot of those things. No, I, sure. my barber wears those got shits. Involved at yeah. one point. my yeah. barber yeah. is a 50 year old black man. Like he not my barber. He your owns- barber, your 50 year old barber wears shape up. Man, look, 50 year old black man. He he be standing. He's like be standing. It's, my good, back okay. Okay. it's good for okay. his back. back. You know, sure, sure, yeah. Barber together. So so it's almost orthopedic to him. But you know, some shit is in your mind. Some shit is kind of like. It's like you put on nice clothes. You think you look good. It's like no, you still the same ugly motherfucker yeah. that would have on anything yeah. else. Facts. You still but look you're wearing the same. nice things. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you put on a shirt and you're not fat anymore. No, you're still <laughs> fat. You're still. This is this is what the sneaker masks go back to as well. It's like we we've tied our identity to this piece piece of clothing and like it becomes us and like 
it's like a suit of armor. We feel like protected. You can repel. It repels all of your insecurities. Exactly. So it's kind of like, no, I'm I'm not struggling. I'm not. I'm look at me. How could I be struggling? I'm on exactly. Gucci. Yes, crispy. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. This exactly. new supreme. A person with no confidence right. wouldn't be able to acquire and right. wear yeah. this. Like, you know, Capitalism, like, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, like it I'm happens. High class. Yeah, it, it. You use that to. It almost. I want um, you to talk like that for the rest of the podcast. Yeah. I be trying. Like, that's really my go-to words. Like, yeah. That shit's so funny. Like, yeah, if, I like if that. they had, if they, if somebody fucks trying to put Wi-Fi in the seventies, I would leave this bitch in a heartbeat. Yeah, like <laughs> Wi-Fi in the seventies, no, I would leave. No, yo, that's yeah, the greatest they, shit I've yeah, ever heard. I would time, leave with you, nigga. If time travel, when time travel hit, they put Wi-Fi in the seventies. I'm out this motherfucker. If I can go today, to I'm sorry, hard. Hard ass segue. That because that was the dopest shit I've ever heard in my <laughs> fucking life. If I could go back to the seventies, to what? Come on, man. Know. Like, okay, when I saw you today, I was like, "What's up, bro? How you doing?" Like, a nigga catch me down. Say it, player. Say what's up, young blood. What you know, good. That's what? way. That's a way better way to start your day. What? What you know, good. Like, Only thing I would want is Wi-Fi, quality weed, and my hairline back so I could grow an afro. And I'm in the seventies, bro. Hard. Yo, I can't like I would. Do you know how hard I would be? I, what? I, I, I just saw Dog. the new Quentin Tarantino movie last night, which is See? like late sixties, early seventies, and yeah, you're, there's definitely parts of the movie where you're like, bro, it'd be nice. I was born to in the be wrong in era. This era. Dead you know ass. I mean? Or for me, my first thing is always the cocaine eighties. I I wouldn't have never did cocaine, but to me, I would have liked to bump into Eddie Aaron Murphy at Studio Fifty Four, sure. like Rick James. Like that was a party era where it was mm-hmm. just like we're just gonna you can wear. Guys, you can have your ass out in platforms. <laughs> you can look like women. You can do whatever the fuck you, you want to do, do and do still get bitches. Yeah, it's happening more and more. Yeah, it, it's no, it, but it's, 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 it's a repeat. No, but then, it's a no, but then, yeah, sure. no, it's a re- And I wouldn't have wanted to do none of that shit. But just to be in a world where it's like that, you can do what the fuck you wanted. Like guys in the eighties would just do I'm cocaine low-key, casually. I'm low key scared just because casual, a, I know I'd have been like, oh shit. Rick James got a party, and then Prince got a party. If I survive these two, I'm the, I'm fucking Conan. Yeah, I'd have wanted to go, but I'd have been terrified like the entire time. This is the best scariest shit I've ever been to. Can you imagine being being able to walk up to Charlie Murphy at the Rick James punch and be like, "Yo, Charlie, no, you let this motherfucker honestly, punch you like that." Can you imagine being there for that? <laughs> nah, because honestly, I can't. All of imagine. a sudden, there's a motherfucker playing you <laughs> yeah. on Dave Chappelle. On the yeah, like 20 yeah. years later, you on Chappelle and shit. Bro, but like, like I, your kids are like, "Dad, ain't that?" Yeah, that was me and Charlie. Me. <laughs> <laughs> It's just the idea that shit. The '80s See, was a I wild ass stories, era. but I imagine like I just feel like the stories are just like that's the story you remember. I feel like going to a Rick James party, I'd have been like, "Fuck, I don't have the self control I thought I had." Like, mm. oh, they really in here doing shit. You know what? I'm gonna tell you the truth. Some environments you go to, and it's not even um, you don't want to do shit. You just want to be able to be there and do it because some shit is some shit is so wild to you when you actually see it. Because some people are like orgies. As a guy, you think about an orgy and you think about all these. When you get to an orgy, bro, <laughs> the first time I was in like a when group you get sex. get to an orgy, bro. Yeah. That's a great way to start a story. Yeah. First time you get to an orgy. No, it's the new name of the episode. Let yeah, me tell you about, let me tell you about my first, first of all. <laughs> sit down. Let me tell you about my first orgy. My first orgy. What are you, Jim's dad? That's a great, exactly. But no, like a group sex experience, bro, it's, it's your first one is you don't, your dick probably won't even get hard. It's, you get two That's spectrums. You don't. You don't. I don't know. I'm it's just, so much that you have to mentally. But I've heard. You have to mentally take it in before your body can respond to it. Like so, you're like, holy shit, she's Damn, doing they, that oh, to her. Like they all naked. Everybody's they just fuck. Naked. Oh whoa. Those Damn are me, dicks. me, yeah. whoa, Too me. Go over there and tell what myself. The fuck? Hang on, man. Me, go is over there and tell myself. They over here fucking nah, for real. Nah, it's not gay because that bitch is beautiful. What? Wait, whoa. This is this is. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Stay, stay. Where you going? You Where know, you gotta really go? Of, we just talked. You just gotta go home about, at the elitist. Uh, about sex Rick James. Shock. And did you have? Yeah, there it is. That's what a sex shock. Sex shock. Sex shock. That's a bar. Sex shock is something that you no, no, no. go Where through. See, look, bar. that's a whole album. Where is that a bar? Where is that a bar? Sex shock. Sex shock. No, but nobody no. says you get what it. Never mind. <laughs> no, see, like we just talked about all that about Rick James. That just made me more fearful of going to any event sponsored by Prince. Because Prince was in a lane where, like, don't worry, you can't go there anymore. It will. Fuck, I'm talking about if we had the time machine. Clearly, like oh, the time machine. We still yeah, have time. yeah. We okay, still right. in time. We still in, we're in time. I don't know, man. So who's throwing those parties now? Is the question. Fucking no. Yo, here's the thing. Okay. No, no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Because like Prince, Prince was in a lane where like Prince was fucking Prince. I feel like has fucked more women than I've looked at. Like Prince was in a way where like 
He's fucking like if Prince was like, oh yeah, yo, Prince over there fucking that like llama. You'd be like, that's because Prince literally probably tired of pussy. Like you wouldn't even you wouldn't like <laughs> Prince all. was in a lane where everybody was like, yo, Prince has just like it's okay. Why is Prince over there fucking that doughnut? Because fucking pussy's old, stupid. That's why I wouldn't go to a Prince party because I feel said like the it would same ruin my thing life. about rumors about certain people being gay, like big rappers and stuff being gay and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I'm like. Doesn't surprise me at all. Like once you reach these certain levels, like you, just I don't ever want to get that big. Same thing. You know, like, like you just get so bored with me normal shit. B plus list at best. <laughs> this is. This, I want this to only go B plus level. What was that? <laughs> that was. I didn't want to. I didn't want to stop you guys, but because he showed me a photo of the orgy. I'm about to say, like, shit, I was... He's in sex shock now. Bro, me, yeah, yo, me and Dan right, over bro. here, like... Oh, this is, that's why I didn't want to interject, but what I was... When he asked, who's now doing those sex parties? When you said, oh, that's I what know. I was trying to show you, is that you. the other day, coincidentally, I just read an article, and I forgot the guy's name, but I was trying to Google who he, Google what it was. He he has a sex club. It's, a, it's an exclusive sex club. Um, it costs four hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars a year to be a member, oh. and then oh, you still God. have to pay at, like for your events, and it still costs like a thousand dollars per event to go after you pay that. But like Bill Maher and a bunch of people are members of the one in New York, and it's one that he has out here in Melrose and in Beverly Hills now, and it's a super exclusive sex club, and they go and you can just have open sex like a, a casual eyes wide shut shit. Basically, bar. No masks, though? No mask. I mean, if you want to do it, but that's why you're paying. Masks optional. Mask optional. Okay. But that's why you're paying the 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 half a million just to be there. Because just, no, anybody who fee. has mem- a membership yeah, fee. Anybody who's got a half a million to make sure nobody sees them fuck doesn't want to invade anybody else's privacy either. Make sure nobody sees them fuck in public in the open. I mean, I'm yeah, sure yeah, there's like, like a no phone, like yeah, check like yeah, phone yeah, check phone in. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. going to a, a spa. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, or you like, like get a phone that doesn't ending. have a camera on it. You can still like, okay, search like, the internet and shit. The fact that no you phone. said, but spa. even with that, you still probably don't want people to say <laughs> certain <laughs> things. It's like with that, hey, we're curating a sex spa right <laughs> no, now. No, like hey, spa, spa makes it way more because you think of these places and you think like dungeons and like whips, but spa makes it like, would you like your cock sucked over here? No, like I mean, that's way better, bro. Look at guys with a mint wrap. Yeah, like put the fucking cucumbers over my. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. You know, is don't get me wrong. You that's just, you're just like uh, I'm yeah. sure oh, that there are. Yes. Okay, I'm sure it's, it's like when you go to the Playboy Mansion. Bite. I'm sure it's like when you go to the Playboy Mansion. There's different rooms every fucking where you go when you go to places. I'm like going this. to the. So let me. Exp- you have different rooms, motherfuckers. So you go to a place <laughs> like a gym. It's not. It's there almost like a gym, but it's different rooms, niggas. So like you go to a place and you go into this room and it's like you might have somebody in there like. Just all women, and then you might have like a gay room. How big are these pegging. rooms? Do you have like dimensions? It's a, it's a, it's just a room. Like you might do a okay. mansion party. So I might get a I mansion. Room. I want the spa place. I want my okay. ass. You've you seen The Shining, right? I have. <laughs> it's the like Great that. Hall, or oh, yeah, it's, it's just opens a the door and okay. it's the guy yeah, in yeah, the teddy bear suit. Oh, that's a good And it's just like that was a good pull. You you just fucking go into these different separate rooms. So I'm sure there's a whole section where it's like. What is your vice? Is it BDSM or is it just casual sex? It's like Send when you go the, look at somebody like Robert Kraft. Robert Kraft was in a fucking you just getting a hand job, massage hand job. That's just his man, shit. That's crazy. Just want to get some massage and some pussy. I don't need so nobody what, to peg me and wear to the leather. Guy who's not sure. I want. I want to know about that. Like, how does someone when you pay half figure a, out these things? Because you're like, which is what's your thing? What if this? What if someone when you pay know half a million dollars? How far they could go? Yeah, you, you got I feel like they should be for, 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 for half a million. They definitely got like an intro pack. It's a tour. Like, I'm sure you get a for half a mil. Dip your toe into all yeah, these things. Yeah, for half a mil, they gotta have an mean? entry thing. For half a mil, you they should be able to recreate sure your tours. bedroom. Yeah, it's tour. Half a mil, they're like, hey man, this is you at your house. No, and you could like ease yourself in. Why? Why? For the entry level, if it's half a mil and you're like and you're sketchy, nobody's paying half a million dollars. That's what I'm saying. If you're scared of it, if you're that's the case, you would have just paid somebody to come to your house and do what the fuck you want to do. If it's half a mil and save four hundred thousand dollars, if it's half a mil, you're trying to get introduced. Y'all could do anything you want, right? No, no, that's the point of it. I go to the liquor store up the street. I don't want to pay half a million dollars if somebody would suck me over here by the chips. They should be able to build a million dollars. Y'all should be able to build no, this motherfucking liquor no. store with the chips. With the my chips. fantasy, yeah. my yeah. fantasy. You're looking for fantasy, full like, immersion fulfilled. experience. Yeah. No, yeah. but see, this is the, yeah. this is the yeah. thing yeah. about it. He wants whatever to you want to do. Get the bag it's of not. Chips. Yeah, let me bust on Crack it open. It open. Yeah. yeah, but that's that's safe though. Whatever you no, want to do stop. for but yourself. He said, he said entry level. Though. You you start no, off safe. No. You, 
No, you, start, and that's what I'm saying. This is do you not start off novice. trash? This is no novice shit. When, it's you're no, it's novice. In. when you pay half a million dollars, yep. you don't want to start amateur. I've gotten my dick sucked by the that's chips true. already. The guy who owns the liquor store, I gave him 50 grand. Actually, and when that. it was yeah. closed, he left the lights on. It, and I had a whole scenario of my own self. By the time I get to paying half a million dollars just to be able to pay $1,000 for the night to come fuck, Damn, that even if I came two nights a week, I still just paid another that's, hundred okay, grand. Okay, this is now getting a little scary because that means that sounds so like they like that sounds like they like a couple sex. thousand off from a hostel, like right. from that movie. Like I want to fucking cut this bitch feet off, you know, just whatever. Like, no, because Liam Neeson is knocking on the door. You can't, you can't have two like, locations of that I'm shit. They're not there Liam yet, but I feel right. like you know, like no, there's a lane of them level, that come together. And that's why I say like, I think hey, there's man, a level of cool. If it's not them, it'll be the competitor. You're just a dirty motherfucker. You wanted to be that. You just a dirty motherfucker. That's what it is. But what it is is that it's just <laughs> nobody has sex like that but you. You're the only nigga that makes bitches have sex in a tire shop. Everybody else is having sex in bedrooms. <laughs> Niggas who property? Bedrooms, yeah. Like Hey. Shout out to all my mechanics out there, man. You're you the gotta, only nigga yeah, that bro, TJ want to have real. He's like, so it's like a donut shop, right? You can have them do a donut mm-hmm. shop. I want to fuck a bitch in Randy's donut shop. Like, no, yeah. you can't really no, do no, that. No, in the shower in the donut. Yeah. That's I wanna, the question. In exactly. the boat. No, no, through the donut. Through the donut. I want, the I want, the honey, wheat, I want a honey wheat donut in my hand. I want to be 24 hours. That's fun for like 10 minutes. I never had one of those. My uncle told me about them. I didn't even know they existed. Honey wheat donut? I've never had one. My uncle told me about it. Like over there, Randy, she said this shit is fucking Honey, fine. We have to check into yeah, that, nigga. Fine. Right? All right, bro. Definitely. But uh, yeah. yeah, I think once you start Randy's paying a bro. half a million dollars for, <laughs> once you start paying half a million dollars for sex, I think you're past. I don't want to be in my bedroom. You want to be? Damn, I, I would rather. Do you want to fuck me? that much? Where that stop? Where your bedroom stops yeah. being important? Yeah. Fifty yeah. five hundred grand. Uh, yeah. You want to have him? You, uh, yeah. look, if you you were just okay with Prince fucking a giraffe, mm. yeah, I don't have the. Appetite. I mean, I'm okay with Prince doing a lot. It's Prince. Well, like Prince thing. is a fucking myth. No, <laughs> no, I know. For me, I I, I, would, I would be involved in. I would if I had the bread. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I'm. I have three million dollars and I'm taking out like my net worth is three million dollars and then I'm taking. <laughs> Right, five hundred right. thousand. No, no, no. What like, I'm saying is that money's different I got some got Howard it. Stern shit. Like I'm getting three hundred million a year, right. and I'm just like, this is the same way I would probably is that have how a, much money Howard but, Stern but makes. It, a year? Howard Stern, yeah, is Howard Stern. Balling. I think his contract is like Here, close here's to the that. Thing, yeah. I mean, what first, first off, Earth? I'm married, so right. all yeah. of these. Howard why the Stern. fuck do you think we're here, Dan? Yeah, yeah. I no, can understand better. What the fuck? Howard, Howard taught Howard teaches motherfuckers how to move. Taking time away from my kid, my family. I mean, I know he's so established, been forever. Howard says, I think between, I think he has equity in. Like his station. That's how much he's yeah. worth. Well. Howard no, no, no. showed I me. Think at the end of the year, when they gross, like how much Howard Stern is made. Yeah. Howard Stern showed me you can Howard just Stern tell is- people titties in the room. They don't even got to see him. That was before. What? Howard was out here just saying, we got titties out. This motherfucker's in there in motherfucking uh, hoodies and shit. Yeah. They got titties out. Everybody's like, Howard's the best shit ever. Howard showed niggas how to move. Bro, because you know how much people, people would love to hear a woman masturbate. That's phone sex, bro. That's phone sex. Yeah, that's for part guys. Of the best part. When, when you used to watch scrambled porn on cable or whatever, yeah. I had the that was the nigga. best part was the audio. Was so you could hear, yeah. yeah, that was the trigger. You'd be like, oh, shit, I can hear this. That's, that's why cam shows something. matter. Like, can you imagine in 1990, yeah, I hope whatever. Jim never listens to this podcast. Who? Your, your girl? My fiance. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's no women in here. It's all guys. Like, you're not going to fuck nobody in here after this. You're not going to know what she's not worried about. She's going to be like, what the fuck am I getting into? Oh, yeah. Good shit. Exactly. Surprise, baby. Experience the best teacher. I have to say this about half a mil on a private sex club. Let's do it. Let's go there. I got to quote Ice Cube. Let's go. I don't pay for pussy and I don't pay for water. See, this is my thing. You're not paying for pussy. This is the problem. When you go to a nice restaurant, you don't pay for a steak because the nicer the restaurant gets, the smaller the amount of food gets and the higher the price gets. You know what the fuck you pay for? The service? You pay for atmosphere. Uh, I get that. You pay to be that. able to go I and know. I to cook my meal better than I can do it. And that's a so. And hold on, hold on. Just like your sex. That's why you're not having sex in your bedroom no, now. They are, they are preparing. I am. They are preparing. I'm saying. Definitely have. Once you pay half a million, they are preparing sex for you better mm-hmm. than you can prepare for yourself. I, and that is part of the experience, I get, I get sir. The you go to a restaurant because they prepare food better for you than you can do at your house, and you don't have to those do are it. The only can you imagine? That I go to. Exactly. Yeah. I, I've never wanted. I hate those restaurants where it's like the Korean barbecue. And somebody's like, "You can hear. We give you meat, and you can put on a grill yourself." Ooh. Fuck oh, you. I love what am I paying for? Fuck you. Yeah. No, but I totally understand that. Fuck that you. Of like, oh, the, 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 this is a joke. Like, it's like an inside mm. thing where they're like, 
we don't do this in Korea, but like, <laughs> but like here, we just give yeah, them the raw meat yeah, and they fucking cook like like it work That's the ultimate thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm a chef love. at a Korean barbecue restaurant. It's the grocery restaurant. store, motherfucker. It's I the grocery love, store. I have, we have plans to go to a Korean barbecue on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, clearly. Like, yeah, I'm <laughs> Throw that shit in the trash. Go somewhere they cook your food for you, Dan. I'm a chef. I mean, I like to cook. Kyrie said this is the cost of a house for this. But like, that's only because we're not balling right now, Kyrie. Like, relax. Kyrie, I'm not paying 500000 No, what? Kyrie's not club? No, Kyrie's not in the club. He's he's no, married and shit, right? He's, we have a chat. <laughs> yeah, we have a chat, and uh, we're on Instagram. Oh, with Kyrie, well. Kyrie's on the line. Kyrie has a um, he has a show talking shit with Kyrie. Shout out to Kyrie on Sundays talking shit with Kyrie. Y'all tune in, but um, no, we not paying five hundred thousand. What? I, what the fuck? You lost your goddamn mind? I mean, I'm not paying five hundred thousand. Hell no. no. No, I would never pay no. for any. I, I'm with him. Yeah. Like, I don't have to pay for that shit. I just, no. Yeah, I don't know. Like, that no. makes me, th- I don't know. Like, because I know but once I'm you can afford that. I have, but nine times out of ten, once because you can afford I, it, I'm they sure get for people, for free. Like, but just walk No, oh my God, like, but it's not, it's the anonymity. It's the anonymity. It's I like what it. people say. Well, like, people, I, like, I dig it. Well, hoes, the old thing, Pimp say, you don't pay a bitch to fuck, you pay her to leave. That. I I've always I've time. always liked that expression. <laughs> yeah, you don't pay the bitch to yeah. fuck. You paying this bitch yeah. to leave. I've always liked that. Expression. That's like what like I had a like in the black barbershop. That's a whole ex- it's a whole experience. You learn. You get your hair cut. You probably can buy yeah. some weed and some liquor. It's uh-huh. black barbershop is an experience. And I had an old black dude tell me that he was like, "Man, look, is it like I that in white barbershops?" Uh, I don't know if I, go to, I, don't, I know I don't go to black barbershops, <laughs> okay. but I don't know if I go to white barbershops. I don't know. Like, what, what are you talking I, about? I, I about I what what happens in the barbershop? Yeah, you guys just read I the paper. I get my haircut right now. Damn, I'm not stoned right now. But I don't even know where I get my haircut. See, it, where do yeah. I get my haircut? You see, that's don't different. Remember where you get your hair. See, see I, that, that, I just found in, a, in a black world, there's a level of loyalty. My you barber is know. out there mad right now. Oh, it, you know it, how it's hard it was to house. find it's a reliable Bay. barber moving back to LA? I'm sure. That shit is a process. It's, it's harder to pick a girlfriend. I ha- Yo, oh, I've I've had, had, I've had, I've had like two You don't get some pussy life. before you get a steady life, barber when you move back to LA. Let me tell you what it's like going into a white barber shop. That's true. See? In my life. I've had two. When Damn. I, okay. So three, three. If I count college, like my college barber. I mean, I'm looking at this dude's but, head right now. Okay. Bro, it's it's what, you just do that yourself. Bro, let now, me tell right? you something. It's a beard, bro. It's a beard. When you have no hair up here, you're taking care of beards here becoming important because yeah. it's like, bitch, don't look here. Look here, bitch. <laughs> I still got, bitch. Look here. Don't look here. The, the focus is my face, bitch. Look how it uh, accents and do. Look at this. And now these lines. We got the same thing. These curvatures. Oh, you, I don't you're, do you've been close. You had a mohawk. I don't do that. I just, I just but that's my, my choice, wife though. Cut that's my, my hair choice. For seven yeah. years. Like God that? dealt me these cards, and it was just like the player guides was just like humble this nigga, and they was like take his yeah, hair. Yeah, see, that's usually why I lead in with that. I'm just like I'm just was I'm, like let's see how good way you too is. Much yeah, let's see for how for me good to have your hair too. If I could switch this shit up, you'd be fucking. It'd be a wrap. Can you imagine if I had this beard and waves? Oh man, it's a wrap. Yeah, let me fuck around and be dipping on niggas at the same time with this face. Fuck that, it's crazy. The bass is the chair. I thought you're not good luck. No, 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 you're good. You're good. But yeah, you can't, man. That's just the hands we was dealt by the player gods. But also at the same time, like, Black dudes been rocking ball shit and made it cool for a while, so it really wasn't a big shit when it yeah, was like. I came after Mike yeah, Jordan like yeah, shit, like see, so I can't. If like, it was, if I was pre Mike, I'd be fucked. But like post Mike, and like I remember uh, New York Undercover and shit, Malik like Yoba, yeah, yeah. So like motherfuckers made uh, bald cool. Like my daddy was bald, yeah. so yeah. I was like, oh I, all, shit, all my, you can my be black, black and bald. Growing up, were bald, and they, were, they kept it like. R. Kelly was bald by choice. Low. Yeah. Even though he was doing weird shit. But that was a bad example, see? God damn, I was trying not to use him as The nigga was bald by choice. And that it was, was grown bitches but it wanted was, to fuck you. used R. Kelly, nigga. Grown bitches wanted to fuck the nigga just because he wanted to go fuck preschoolers. These bitches don't even remember nigga. bald R. Kelly. These hoes don't even remember bald R. Kelly. <laughs> they wasn't around for Our that. fan base don't remember him. They don't. The nigga had a mask and braids on. They, they don't had, believe they can fly. They had bad parents. The fuck? They had bad parents. Do you see these young motherfuckers? Did y'all see that the draft picks didn't even know who the fuck Outcast was for the NBA draft? The NBA draft they didn't that's know. That's how I knew. Like, that. That's how I knew. Like they I was asked like, fucking these guys. Trash. They asked these oh. fucking kids. What, what did Outcast do? What he was there? No, Outcast. They were just going through. Like they did you know? I guess what happened was some of these guys were getting drafted to like the year your oldest teammate. Was drafted into the league. What was going on in those okay. years? I thought okay. so. Yeah. That's like a good card. I like that. The series of questioning, though. I like this. So, like Vince Whatever. Carter came in the league in like 1990 something. So, guys that were going to the Hawks, they were giving them the cards, and they were like, uh, "Outcast came out, and this happened." They were like, "Who the fuck is Outcast?" That's, that's crazy. Yo, that is yeah. mad. So that's what yeah. I'm that's saying crazy. is that these bitches don't remember people who were big in 2000 and something. Motherfuckers don't remember people that no, were big. But in- I think about this a lot. I love music. I like all kinds of music, but like hip hop is definitely where I ground myself and it mm-hmm. has opened up the the genre 
and everything. Like I've gone looking for soul and jazz and because funk of hip hop. Uh, because That's of hip hop, yeah, right? samples. Yeah. Like yeah. you just, you just, you just you're like, what the, the fuck is that? Ear. I want to hear more of that. And like, I, you get into certain DJs and certain producers how they work, and you just follow them. And I respect all this samples stuff like goes a motherfucker through. Because of hip hop, yeah, nice. hip hop for me was the the gateway to find all other kinds of music. Mm-hmm. It was the gateway to life for me. What I was given and through pop music and whatever growing up was just rock and like certain things like that. Um, or was I going this? <laughs> we were talking about the youth and how they didn't know who outcasts yeah, were. Yeah, but were like, like I think about how like the uh, certain people don't have those experiences where they're like, without a doubt, they have the interest to go look back. And I don't even think they have today, the platform they're, they're just, to like, know it fed exists. So much shit, and they're just like, oh yeah, it's sample, way like, too much white noise name? now. Uh, right. Young Thug just sampled Elton John, right? Yeah, yeah. and I'm thinking and like he did a song with Elton, didn't he? Or? I'm thinking, no, like, Elton whoa, that, that. like okay. the sample actually was allowed and that happened and mm. shit. That's crazy. Right. Uh, but at the same time, certain people are going to be like, this is dope. Like, he made a song, and like, people aren't going to know oh. that that's Elton Oh, Rocket Travis Scott. That's yeah. disturbing to me. Like, uh, I was thinking. Well, the, for me, I think, like, what, when Stevie we look Wonder? at certain things, we don't know that people are as huge. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, uh, the Who's That Creeping in My Window joint. Uh huh. Nobody realizes that's fucking Goody Mob. Yeah, without a doubt. It's mm-hmm. like Travis Scott. Like, but how many of these people know who Goody Mob is? And it, how many pe- when people you know when people away. think people see CeeLo and you know what they think? They think the about gold his case. suit. No, they America's no, no, got they, talent. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. America's uh, got talent. The voice, right, right. the voice. That's the voice. crazy. Because yeah. I literally, I actually with my you own don't money. See like a, and then even if you see CeeLo, then before that you think of him as an independent artist in Gnarls Barkley. You think Gnarls right. Barkley was ridiculous? Was incredible. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was bigger than you. It was big yeah. worldwide. Nobody thinks yeah. Goody Mob. What was that? That shit still plays. Come on. What was that? Middle school? Like, because I remember, I I literally my first album I purchased was Stank on You. And That's I, middle school, sixth grade. Yeah, and I literally Dark purchased. Stuff. Yeah, and I literally purchased the Dungeon Family album. Yeah, I bring that shit up. It's like seven motherfuckers. First album you purchased, <laughs> Doggy yeah. Style. Doggy Style. First hip hop album I ever purchased yes. was uh, Puff's Daddy and the Family. Okay, uh, mine were we two. What's that? It was um, we beefing. We beefing. Beefin'. Yeah. yeah, but no, <laughs> yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah, for me it was. Um, I had. Um, E forty Hall of Game Tupac, oh. um, Tupac the Machiavelli Don Don, Cl- uh, Don Columi Don Columi ninety seven days. Nah, you won. Tupac was on the, the nah, you cross. Kinda, you won for Fody Water, man. Yeah. Like yeah, shit. Yeah, My yeah. first two yeah. albums. I thought, oh yeah, I thought I was out here for Stank on you, but nah, Fody Water gets you. Fody Water and Tupac. Nineteen ninety six. Play to this day, right? Like, oh come on, bro. On a bro. regular basis, come on, Outkast. Come on, yeah. bro. Yeah. You have to. It's it's a. There's a lot of Outkast playing through the speakers at Sneak Drink all the time. Yeah. I mean, he he runs the speakers in the studio most of the time just because. Favorite Outkast album is Stank on You. AT Aliens. AT Aliens. I hold them differently. I might go Stank on You just because, like, that's that album for me. Like, it wasn't the just, nostalgia. Not even not just nostalgia. It was like for me, like what they were doing musically was different from everybody mm-hmm. else. So it like to me, like how you how we look at like a thug mm-hmm. or like a Kanye, like everybody else doing this wild shit with music. Mm-hmm. For me, the introduction that motherfuckers didn't have to like boom bap like like New York mm-hmm. or sound West Coast like Snoop. Okay. Stank on you did that for me. I was like, oh 100%. shit, these motherfuckers are rapping yeah. on. I don't even know what sound that is. Oh yeah, they, like they, it, they, introdu- the whole... it introduced me to wanting to look for things like I don't know anything about instruments, but it made me look for like instrumentation in songs that mm-hmm. I didn't look at before before that album. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. like yeah. For so. me, um, Rosa Parks was on what? Rosa Parks was Equimini or Atlantis? I think that was on Stank. Yeah, Equimini is my favorite. Or, that's a, no, Rosa yeah. Parks was Stank on you. Was so no, fresh no, and so right, clean. You're right, you're right. Uh, Equipment I they were still shoulder pads and a. Do work. Go for it. I want to say. I want to say that was Equipment I. I can Dude. pull it up right now. Okay, but Do for I, me, it's can, either Stank on you or Equipment I. But the reason for it's not that important. Don't worry about it. But for me, it's either those two. But it's like a, such a nostalgia attached to. to this is open, um, right? Yeah, yeah, just twisted. But um, <laughs> twist it. Twist it. this is a twist off. Yes, yeah, yeah. this is a twist off. <laughs> but um, my cousin, my older cousin, who's like my, one of my all my older cousins, are like my big brothers. I was the only child, so I had to tag along with those fuckers when my mom and dad was at work. Yeah. So um, <laughs> with those fuckers, <laughs> he played Rosa Parks, and that shit became. So anytime I hear that song, I think about him, and I just think about that. And then my sixth grade teacher, shout out to Mr. Van. He was my one of my sixth grade teachers, and he would always make. He was an English teacher, so you would do your journal entry, and when you would come on, he would when you come in doing the journal entry, he would play "Stank on You," mm-hmm. and so like so fresh and so clean, mm-hmm. and all these different bombs over Baghdad and all those different uh, songs. Bombs over Baghdad it, w- was uh, my brother played that for me, 
My brother was shout out to Matt. Uh, he was shout a out huge, Matt. Huge introduction, to, like introductory person for music for me. He would buy me albums mm. or throw me down stuff. He's yeah, an old, older brother. Um, I don't know if you guys saw mid nineties. The movie Jonah Hill movie. Oh yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. The opening scene of that with like the shots of the bedroom and stuff was like my older brother's room. Got you, got you. Verbatim, got you. Like, got you. like the yeah. CD tower, like uh-huh. got you. the wooden, fr- like every fucking detail was like exactly like. Oh shit! My brother's room. It was crazy, and he, he like he didn't beat my ass as much. He actually <laughs> kicked my middle brother's ass more than than me, thankfully. Um, but who he, gives a but, fuck about middle brothers? That's why. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Scott. Um, <laughs> Uh, but it's so much. No, we're talking to you, Scott. Down. Put that on the Choke T-shirt, it. man. Sorry, Who gives a fuck about Scott. Scott. Sorry, Scott. That's merch right there. That's sorry, the Scott. greatest shit ever. Sorry, Scott. Please do that, please. But um, no, I'm really sorry, Scott. We love you, Scott. But um, I think that's, I think that's for most people. People that have that love of hip hop, it doesn't start. It doesn't start with you. Nobody just stumbles into this shit. It's always something like you watch a movie and it's like in the park, freestyling in the park, dangerous mind, brother, somebody that. Yeah, exactly. Somebody that introduces you. For me, I had the same situation. I'm an only child, but my cousin, my uh, my dad's sister passed of cancer. And so my cousin, one of my cousins moved in with us, one of her kids. And he had always, like, babysat me and everything. But when he moved in full time, he would burn CDs. This was, like, in the early 2000s. Mm-hmm. And so he gave me my Remember that shit. foundation. Oh, I used to do mixtapes and stuff. Mm-hmm. He gave me my foundation with music. I had music. the mini-disc. Because mm-hmm. as, as a kid, he would... He would have to babysit me. My parents worked this weird schedule where my mom worked overnight. My dad worked early in the morning. So they overlapped. And it was a time of period where I was at home by myself. Mm -hmm. So he would have to be there with me in the morning. And he could not go to sleep without listening to music. He had to listen to music to go to sleep. So I would go to sleep listening to Master P, Mm -hmm. Nas, Goody Mob, Mm -hmm. just random ass fucking music. And you start to – I couldn't hear things when I would – I was a kid. I needed silence to go to sleep. So I would sit up for most of the night just – Until you could understand it. Who's that creeping in my window? And some of this shit would scare the fuck out of me as a kid. Like, I'm a kid, and it's like, who's that creeping in? And this big grown motherfucker sleep. I'm next to the window, and I'm it's that bass line, that creeping it. Like, Unforgettable. And, oh, my God, nigga. And that shit would kill me. But after a while, you started to master P, and, and you start to learn certain things. And have that's developed. And when he finally moved in with me, it was the... Worst thing in the world to me because I had to see him hurt because he lost his mom. But at the same time, I felt guilty because I was celebrating like I get to have him here with me. Like he's going to be here with me all the time. And he would burn CDs. And that's how I would be able to stay out of trouble and make my money in high school and shit is I would take his mix CDs and I would go to he would only sell them at school. But then what I found out was that I would go buy T-shirts at the T-shirt shop because my mom didn't let me wear blank white T-shirts mm-hmm. in the hood because I lived in Compton. So she would be like, can't wear no white T-shirt because I don't represent me right. You got to have a shirt with a collar. So I would have to sneak <laughs> out before school and go buy a white T-shirt early in the morning. Mm-hmm. And when I went to the T-shirt shop, they would always have CDs. Mm-hmm. So I started taking my mix CDs up there. And um, I would told the guy, I was like, hey, man, if I give you a mix, would you buy it? He's like, if it's dope and if you got enough of them. So I took him a mix CD. And I had... um. My my cousin went to Compton High. And he had he knew game, so we had and then I knew some people from game neighborhood. God bless the dead, G man. He gave me some of game songs early, so I had like mm. How We Do and West Side Story mm-hmm. and, and those things early. And so Dude, I, I love put, that I love that album documentary. I, so I had a lot of documentary part. songs really early, and so I put them shits on the mix. And then I had like just we would dig literally like we got shit when it first dropped. We made sure we stayed getting new music and shit so we, I put all that shit on there and the guy was like I haven't even heard some of this shit I'm like trust me all this shit is gonna blow up and the first guy bought he bought a hundred CDs from me for five dollars a piece boom he bought them for five dollars a piece god damn <laughs> mm-hmm. he was like bro I'm gonna sell them for 13 so he's like I'm still gonna double up mm-hmm. and then steal mm-hmm. so this at the time where it was like albums were really like still albums mm-hmm. you can still yeah. get us and so he took them for five dollars a piece. I'm gonna sell them for thirteen because it was all exclusive. Oh, they were like twenty five at like a Barnes and Noble, because like back in the day, like remember CD you couldn't get it like, because people were, cracking, people were cracking down on mixed CDs at that time. They had already banned Napster and all that shit, so you had to really be mm-hmm. a oh, motherfucker who was committed. I was hey man, rest in peace, Lime Wire. IT, you were always like, oh, I know a way around this fucking. Folder That's structure. how I fell in love with IT is because I was bootlegging so much yeah. as a fucking mm-hmm. kid uh-huh. and piracy uh-huh. that it became you had to learn how to get the key code. Remember you had to get the activation. I used to have applications. So you have to bend to him, but then we would my bitch. We wouldn't want to install that shit all on our computer, so we would have to hyper V. Question. Mm. So we would hyper V and then you ever downloaded 
from a Napster LimeWire. Oh, oh, the oh, very song. first song. It doesn't have to be like the first good song you remember, but like, Bro, I no, I remember the exact down, song. Man. Mine's yeah. embarrassing. Mine is embarrassing. I'm oh. gonna put that out there. <laughs> We already uh, talked I'm about just mine. saying the first song you ever downloaded like that. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I what was yours? Know. You want me to tell you? Mine? I'll tell you mine. I'll save mine because mine's funny. What's yours? Why you want to save it? No, no, mine is Yellow from Coldplay. <laughs> <laughs> that is the first song, I and I remember it clearly, so like to this day, like I Yellow, so yeah, all that, yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah, all that. It was who, all Yellow. Who That's hurt you? A fucking, yeah. Who hurt you? What was her name? Was, Man, wait, so let's do the math. How old were you at the time, motherfucker? What were you going through that <laughs> made you be like, I got, I gotta <laughs> hear Yellow. I'm Probably gonna be a freshman in high school, or uh, oh, that yeah, makes sense. Like oh yeah, you had a crush on. How did we get this bitch in chocolate? Man, I'm, a romantic, like, I'm a yeah, hopeless romantic, man. I'm a hopeless romantic. You was holding books, walking the class. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah, I get it. Man, fuck her. For me, she, my first... Um, she ain't getting no sneakers now, so she tried. Fuck her. Yeah, man, she wear fucking dirty ass... Her bottom of her feet dirty, man. Fuck oh, her. man, I was young. <laughs> I think I think my first one was probably... um. Oh, shit. Do you remember Petey Pablo at the North? Yeah, yeah. Peter, oh, sure oh, oh, right. head like a helicopter. That was Gee, my first one. I begged my same cousin that I'm telling you about... Before my aunt passed, he was at his own house living with his family, and I would always go over there. And so, because my aunt and my grandmother lived right around the corner from each other, so like I was like any black kid anywhere. I spent most of my time at my grandparents' house because Squad. my mom and parents were working. My mom and dad was working their ass off, so I was over there. All my cousins there. Everybody's at grandma's house, but then my aunt lived right around the corner. So if you got bored at grandma's house, you would just walk over to my cousin's house, and you just split time. They had playstations and shit over there, yeah. and you just had a different environment. And so we would we would do that. And when I would go over there, my cousin was already downloading shit and bootlegging. And I begged him. I begged him. I was like, can you please just make me a mix CD? Please, please, please. And he was like, sit down. <laughs> he sat me down. He's like, sit down. And he showed me how to download shit myself. And he was there like, watch go. me do this. Yeah. He's like, you're going to fucking learn. And he's like, then you can do it yourself and leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. And he showed me how to do that shit. And yeah, I was like. Teach man fish. Like, yeah, good teacher. And that's why I love him so much. Yeah. He taught. Yeah. He never did shit for me. I remember I was like 12 and this nigga was my basketball coach. Like I was playing basketball in the park league and we were driving down the street and he just stopped and put the car in park and took the keys out and threw them in my lap and was like, drive. And just got out the driver's seat and walked over to the passenger side and I wouldn't get out. And so he was like, fuck it. And just got in the that back That was seat. your first time driving? First time driving. Yeah, that first got time in the passenger. Got, I, he went, I wouldn't get out the passenger seat. So he's like, fuck it. He got in the back seat and he was like, I'm going to sit here until you get in the car and get in the pa- driver's seat and drive. And I'm like, fuck you. What are we doing? Like, <laughs> my other cousins are in the car. We're le- oh, like, there's other people. In there's the other car. people in the fucking <laughs> car. My other cousins are like five or six years older than me. Five years older than me, maybe. So they 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 know how to drive and they've done this shit already and this motherfucker just really really made me get in the car and I'm like what the f-? I'm scared and he was like drive and he made me drive and this he was always that just this driving force of like go do this mm-hmm. go get the fuck out of here so he taught me how to do that and my first song was Petey Pablo and then after that I downloaded a bunch of other trash ass songs and oh, yeah. Yeah, made a yeah. trash all, ass he taught me how bad. to burn my own CD and he was like you can use as many as you want burn them he was like just but make sure you burn at least this many minutes and remember you used mm-hmm. have to look at the edge of the mm-hmm. CD and it would burn to like a little it would right. the, oh yeah, you could see it yeah. you could see where it you was written you could see it yeah. and yeah. he would show me he would be like I would know if you wasted the CD because I'm gonna look and he showed me that yeah. Yeah. it was just a bunch of shit man but it don't was, be yeah. wasting that shit but that was my first like introduction to the hip hop shit you'd like try to do it's MP3 and it'd be small in there and then it would never fucking work. Come on, man. I remember those. Did you remember yeah. that? It'd be like, oh, do it as MP3s. You could fit, <laughs> fit like hundreds <laughs> on there. No. And you do that and it No, nothing. that should never work. It'd be like MP3 <laughs> reader. No. Nope. Yeah. You have to yeah. get an MP3 CD. It yep. was an actual MP3 Different CD. disc. See, so it was almost like having Why did he even give you the option? I wasted multiple discs being no. like, oh, it's going to work this A time. guy fucks me like that on a CD. He was like, uh, um, he, <laughs> he had a pack of CDs, right? And so I didn't read. It was the same maker. But his was an actual MP3 disc. And he was like, man, you get the He was like, look, I got these brands. He was like, watch this. He put one in his tape deck. And the motherfucker said, like, one of 80 songs. That nigga said a tape yeah. deck. Not tape deck, but like his deck. <laughs> he did. You know, I was on the same man. I did Ooh, say yeah. a tape deck. I, I'm no, that, I wasn't. I'm yeah, that I was, was, was just like, damn. No, because like, like, here's the thing. Like, I wasn't be, saying yeah. that. I wasn't saying that yeah. to get you. I was like, I remember <laughs> tape decks. And I was yeah, like, yeah, we yeah. are washed, nigga. Exactly. That's my point. But I remember a tape. Like, I remember, yeah. So he put the CD in. And motherfucker said, like, one of 80. 
And I was like, holy shit, nigga, you getting 80 songs on a CD? He was like, yeah, brother, these MP3 CDs. You know I mean? He was like, man, come on, look, look at, little brother, I wouldn't do you like that, little bro, I wouldn't do you like that, these 80s. I'm like, man, let me get, I'm talking about, I bought like, it was the 100 pack. You know, you get the 100 and it came in a plastic thing and it was the big, it came on the, mm-hmm. I got Double fucking, down on that shit. I'm like, bro, he, man, I'm spindle. like. But he fu- I, he fucked you. Fucked me good, bro. Oh, they gosh. weren't they weren't those it was just regular, regular CDs. CDs. Okay. Bro, tax me, tax me. I think I might have paid like thirty bucks a pop for the fucking the tower because he was like oh, these, these go for like eighty in the store. You paying basically a dollar a piece, and it was a hundred of them on there. So I'm like, he like you give me thirty, and I'm like cool. So I bought five. I paid I pay like hundred and fifty bucks. So I paid I paid thirty for five. Damn, that's thinking a lot I'm of like money to break out on. A- Oh, dude, dude, but, but what I'm saying is, like, I, but you have to remember you, that. You flipped out 150, like, one day. But you was how old? I was, oh, God, I was probably, like, 16, 17. Yeah. yeah so, know. but you have to remember, I would go sell 100 and make 500 bucks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then now, that was on regular CD, so now I'm like, I put 80 on these motherfuckers, so I can really tax people, and they played, and I'm like, they play in a regular CD player, so I'm like, cool. Man, I got home, I paid 150 bucks for regular ass CDs. Bro, I popped them bitches in, was going through. I tried to fit them all on. I fucked up so many of them trying to pack a whole bunch of songs on it. More loss. I was like, yeah, I must yeah. have wasted like 60 of them just to find out they weren't the real ones. And then I'm sitting there like, yo, now I only got 440 of these overpriced ass fake CD. Oh, man, it was just a terrible that's, life. Nah, that's a life through. of an entrepreneur. Oh, like, man, it took so many fucking hells. Just, like, just, just, just so many. Like, Walked into the gay orgy ass first. Just got <laughs> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, I need to go. I, I need to go. Oh, that's you can use it. Go ahead. I know. Yeah, you probably yeah. never heard that one. But you can use I, it. I've heard that yeah. for sure. You gay yeah. orgy ass first. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I've heard run through a cornfield mm. backwards. Yeah, but that's the that's nah. the party version. That's the party, party version. Yeah. Is you go to the gay orgy ass, ass, ass first. That's yeah. the move. It's yeah. no other option but to get you fucked. Say that's the move. That's the move, that's man. The move. If you're you, you gonna get terrified, you're gonna get fucked up, man. Who's who's the fucking who's who's the I think it was Theo Vaughn. Where it was. That's what I was saying. I watched I watched his podcast. He's a funny ass dude. Oh, hilarious! But it was somebody that was saying they were at a um. Somebody asked them. They were drinking with their buddies, and somebody asked them, "If you're at a, if you're at an orgy and you feel somebody like you feel a finger, in your like going towards your ass, do you pull away, or are you pushing back?" And pushing back in the sense of like leaning into, into the leaning finger? into the finger. <laughs> are you fucking? Uh, if you're at, a, if you're just. I mean, if or you're, just, if are you just standing back to around? Orgies. If you're, episode, you just, are you, full circle. Yeah, are if, you just standing around at the orgy? Or are you mid fuck? No, you're like fucking. You're okay, so I'm, I'm love, fucking. I love that. You're just standing there. Because <laughs> if I'm standing that, around, that around the finger, finger, you're like, hey, man, get fuck off me. Like, you know, yeah. If I'm just having a, if yeah, I'm having that's a Gatorade like a at an orgy, slap immediately just, just get, what the fuck. But if you fucking, you, you gonna grab get, the bitch like, hold on, bitch. Yeah, you gotta like, it just, it's more to it. Like if I'm just saying, hey man, back up, you know, I can turn around, I can defend myself. If I'm fucking, I know my mo, I know where my motivation's at, so I gotta now pick this motherfucker up. And be like, hey, all right, I, like I know my first inkling is not to stop fucking, it's to try to keep fucking, but and, to and, get and away that, from this situation. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna side with him on that. <laughs> yeah, say, yeah. Like, like, I'm gonna probably like if I know who's I'm finger it is, first, we can like, talk about it a little bit. We get, like, we can discuss, we can negotiate. Then, nah, if you got your nails all. clipped, Dan, Dan is willing if to go negotiate. Nails, Dan, like, Dan, we like, can talk, Dan, uh, Dan back there. Is that person. acrylic on my ass? Oh, this, okay, <laughs> yeah. I can't. Dan's like, I paid five hundred thousand dollars to be in this place. I'm getting this finger. Yeah, I didn't see those nails earlier. Yeah, paid half a million dollars to be in this place. I'm taking fingers and everything. Man. Oh, it's a lot of designs the on that. She got half a mil for missionary. I, I did not pay yeah. half a mil yeah. for missionary, bitch. <laughs> Better grab that ceiling fan. I want my money's worth. Oh shit! From here, nasty from time. Mr. Nasty Time. Grab that ceiling that. fan is a bar. Oh, without a doubt, mm-hmm. if half a million. You gotta, you gotta impress me. No, bitch. you gotta do some wild shit. This Let me tell you the wild shit. The universe because I had a happily married, so like I have no need. I'm engaged. Yeah, I mean, we, no, yeah. I got a lady. We all, this is hyper. We ain't got $500,000. Look, man, this is. It's it. women that know our struggle oh, sitting at home laughing at us. Problem? Like, these niggas ain't going to never get $500,000. Honestly, I don't even got to do that. You know what you See, did. I'm you on my up. way. Hey, look, my favorite hey, line is. You're going to be a long way when you sign up with this. I hope my wife understands that if I get. No, no, not even the podcast. To my lady. To my lady. Like, you knew what you was doing when you got here. I ain't apologizing No, my shit is. My shit is just this. If my wife knows me and understands, if if I amass enough money that I'm willing to even come to you and be like, babe, I'm gonna drop five hundred thousand on this sex club, then I probably worked my like it's 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 within reason at that point. I get point that. In my life. I get Fuck that. Like, it's, you it's, a piece of shit too. The also. Yeah, I'm of like because like, it's a million dollars essentially. And, like, see. You, we got Burke Williams, we that. got Netflix. It's just another subscription, babe. 
Yeah, you're not but fucking with nobody married, you can't they, talk to they, about they, it. They like, we can talk about it. I mean, you go, we can talk about and it. And I respect the shit out of that. But I, I, I get what you. We don't have to participate. You just want to go watch sometimes. Everybody goes yeah. to the zoo. It's a zoo. That's what a porn. No, zoo. what you know? Honestly, here's, porn zoo. Goes to the here's zoo. my move. Everybody goes to the zoo. <laughs> no, no, no. Sometimes everybody fucks funny. This the move. This the move. I. This the move. I do. Everybody fucks funny. Yeah. No. That's Yeah. That's everybody fucks. I play to the. I play to the arrogance. I got somebody who's arrogant, so I'd be like, I ain't oh, they said I play to the Aryans. I, play, I was going to no, no, say, no. you sell yeah. out. To the, <laughs> no, no, no. Not, none of them. To the arrogance. Because I was like, yeah, they're not fucking as good as us. You motherfucking right there. Let's go to the club. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Go watch them and watch how they fuck trash. And we we'll go in here. I know I fuck. I know I ride dick better than that. Yeah, you do. Yeah, let's <laughs> yeah, go in here. Let's go in here and show them. I get them. that. I get yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that. that's my main move is yeah, just to play yeah, the arrogant yeah. part. The air, yeah, I, I can respect it. That's No, I mean, I don't know if that's everybody. I just got an arrogant motherfucker. So I know. I just, you know. For me, I know that I'm a I'm a I'm a dirtbag, and so I know that if I go any further than my sex life, I'm being a territory I don't want to be in. It's, it's oh, only nah, dirtbag if you. I don't know. You, signed you've up been for it. you've been alluding to where you want to be at yeah, exactly. for the whole episode. No, I've alluded to where I've, I've alluded to where I've been, Dan. This is my there life. <laughs> nah, bro. I've like, done shit. Niggas nah, gonna forget. Honestly, me. like I niggas, forgot about niggas doing shit. Niggas' next step that. around here is like Captain Kirk. Where are the green bitches with three titties? Like, and, and that was the weird thing yeah. that in my head that was my like. I oh, want to pay half a million dollars. Hey, look, avatar. Time out. First yeah. thing, Avatar. I'm fucked being at home. I don't want to no. be at home. Give me an hey, Avatar. Look, what about After my reality? check clears L- for $500,000, I'm going to be like, what Avatar bitch is that? Wait till you finish. Fuck that I'm VR gonna... shit. I want an Avatar. Tell you right now. Look, a for a one. stack, you can do some right VR now. and call it a day. No, Mm-mm. no. Test drive no. that shit. Do you I really want bitch. blue pussy for the rest of your like? No, for not for the rest of my life. Not for the rest of your life. No, not definitely temporary. But like for half a million, you're going to spend it on blue pussy? The first time, not like two pussies or three pussies, just no. Pussies? I've, but you can I get those go for to free. A, I you can go get to some the... blue sunglasses, and there you go. Nah, bro, no, fuck that. Let, hey, look, let <laughs> us. <laughs> it's not a for shape or nothing like hey, that. We fuck around and find like life on, on other Earths, on other planets tomorrow. You're not gonna try to fuck none of that. If they was like, look, I don't man, even want to fuck. I just want to go no, to the no, Avatar version of Magic City. I just want to see Avatar strippers. I'm in that bitch. Are you crazy? See, I'm kind of a fan of. Dog, I'm in yeah, that. Myself, yeah. That's because you ain't never know, had no space pussy. You don't know what Look, the fuck that shit do. I'm. I. I will say this about this topic and every other topic out there. Prove me wrong. Like I don't know everything. I fuck with so that. So I'm open. Bro, to that's why anybody out there, there got the, the fucking. Hey, whoever got the thing on space pussy, call at us. They yeah. was willing to kill you, no, motherfuckers. When shit. y'all talked about storm and Area 51, do you know? It's only certain things that m- people will kill about. You think Especially they're protecting men. alien pussy? What's the three things men are kill about? Sex. Yeah, that's true. So that's what you're saying? Like Sex, money, and religion are the three hey, things they that war start about. about. They know, Every like, fucking war in life is started by sex, money, and religion. They and want I, want, I just want this on the air. House. Hang on. That's, that's on the property. I just that's want this on the air. Oh, that alien brothel that alien is alien bringing brothel in so much 51. money. Niggas that's why they not. They wasn't going, man. How you going to... Wait, I don't know the yeah. context, but I just stepped. Anyways, Money up here talking about she won't play with butts, so somebody play with her butt. Alien so, like, Brothel fine. is also another good name for the episode. Get your butt. Yeah, yeah. Money, yeah. get your butt played with. Yeah. You know what I'm Money, yeah. yeah. Like, we for, hey, shout money. out to Money getting her butt played with. Hey, man, everybody fucks funny. Yeah, real OG. <laughs> everybody fucks funny. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. funny. It's fucking funny to somebody. Oh, I don't know the live cutoff, but it don't matter. Wait, sure, sure. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just sharing. Fuck the next. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they know where to find us at. I know, that's a body First shape thing right there. Yeah, hello. Hello. Hmm? Who ass is that? Gooded. Oh, that was Megan. Dog, Megan, the man. Oh, Shout out to her. Megan Thee Stallion is a uh, American man, I, treasure. She doing such good. So she's doing such good is work. Is that the she's one that's been with like Nicki Minaj? Yeah, mm-hmm. Hot Girl Summer. Yeah, yeah. yeah hot, hot Summer. man. It's Hot Girl. Everything. All that she green going, hair. She going to school oh, that and green stuff. Hair. She doing such good stuff. Why did Dan breathe so? Why did that Dan was like, oh, that green hair? Yeah, looking Ugh. like uh, Andre the Giant. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no, it is no Meg slander Damn, allowed on the platform. Was like, Damn was like, hey, dunk look, on this dick. I'm a six. I'm a, I'm over six foot, man. I don't mind. Hey, no Meg slander will happen. I got a tall glass of water I swear, at home myself. I, I like. I, I like tall. I, I'm marrying short, but I like tall. I'm marrying short, yeah. but I like tall. That's the greatest yeah. statement ever. That's I think like that's the nigga separation. Between that's us almost like. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a nigga buying a car where he's like, no, 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 I love European. I'm buying American, but I love European though. Oh shit! He turned that shit. That was smooth. I that was it. the greatest shit ever. He was like, I love tall. I'm buying short See, though. I'm I, buying short, but I love tall. I get that because I'm vice versa on that. Oh, I like short and I'm married tall. Mm. Cause you know it's bad when you're like, yo, this ain't even my type, and it's like, yo, I'm about to wipe this down. Mm. I never wipe really like wipe. Yeah, mm. Swiffer. 
Swift friend. <laughs> Is that like really type types? Is that, is that a thing? <laughs> Y'all wipes at home so. like great. These are niggas. This is what I'm saying. I don't want to watch this episode. Yeah. Wait, wait. Are there are there like types types where like you go? I need this specific type of woman. Is that I, a thing? You still? You no, no, no. I don't have a type. No, 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 no. I, I like certain things, but I will find myself attracted to all the opposites. Yeah, I found out a long time ago. I'm a, I'm just a piece of shit. So like, if you if I'm good, I'm good. Every like, girl yeah. that I have dated, but even except for one that I'm about to marry. A shape preference or anything like you like can't that. be out here built like an upside down bottle of Bailey's, but like other than that, no, like I don't yeah. like no spatula built bitches, but right. like that's just me personally. Most girls that I've ever been with have all said the same thing: like you don't even have a type, you just like all women. Yeah, like and I like, like, like I like generics. Like I like I like a big like ass. You like they titties. Like you like a decent shape. But <laughs> I it's like, like him a lot. Remember, like Andre, speaking of Andre, we back to Andre three thousand. He was like, you know, God, come in, God. She didn't got to have a fat old ass. Just a nice proportion to her body. Like I'm good if it look good on you. Honestly, if I yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm to the point that if you just this, sexy, I'm in there. What, all right, so our opinions don't matter on this. What does your lady say your type is? Mm. What if my lady say my? I I would I'd be a great. I would love to know what she say about that. Whatever your oh, lady I, say your type is, my lady always say like. She say big, big women. breasts. She say big breasts for sure. There you go. And thick ass and probably blonde, even though she's not a real blonde. My wife would tell. Would she care. knows this because before we dated. Uh, I would rub it in the face that I like trashy women. Yeah. Oh, no, like, shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you fucking Roseanne daughter. <laughs> he was like, this, nigga. <laughs> this nigga's fucking Darlene. I, li- I like trashy women and ended up with uh, just a square This nigga's girl one of the doctor. You know his, what I mean? his wife works in the White House. She's somebody who's straight up and down. Works right, at my, the White House. <laughs> my, lady, my lady always says uh, thick women and... Um, she always, uh, she always jokes. I'm gonna get rich and leave her for a thick Puerto Rican woman. Like I'm gonna go to the Dominican and come back with a bitch. Like ah, she needed a green guy. Like, that's, that's that's what she says. My type is Colombian. <laughs> no, no, not Colombian. That's too light. Oh, he go charity too light. his way into some oh, oh, personally. Oh, person. Oh, personally. Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. That's my my lady always gives me that. She, uh, she believes that. I don't. Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican makes sense. Puerto All Rican right. and Dominican maybe a bitch from the other side of the Costa Rican island, but like some shit that is Brazilian maybe something like See, that. Yeah, I was like I know. I know mine. Like, she I believes look that. Go to Brazil and lose my shit. And I be looking like you don't even know me. See, no. <laughs> like, you don't even know me. Only thing, yeah. Only thing about Brazil, they do surgeries like Thailand. I can't fuck around down there. But yeah. no, Thailand. I'm, I've been to Thailand. Thailand's an uncomfortable place. It's <laughs> as beautiful as it is. It is so un- inappropriate. Really? That place is so inappropriate. <laughs> Like, says the guy who they introduced they, me to He said they out here fucking They out there fucking club. in the yeah, right? I mean I'm willing to pay for A half a million dollar sex club But in Thailand They are inappropriate Hey no, yo like, I just want to say one more time Shout out to Money Cause she said I hate y'all But she didn't say She wasn't trying to have her butt play with So like shout out to you I'm so proud of you I'm a lead, oh, out, I'm a lead out for said about this. I'm a lead out for TJ it's what, hey, fuck that, man. That's none of my business. It's none of my. Bu- That's the greatest meme ever. <laughs> that nigga um, funny as shit. Hilarious. But um, gosh, I forgot what I was even gonna comment on. But yeah, oh no, Thailand's uncomfortable. I went with like my family and shit, and like <laughs> they were taking pictures. Like niggas were walking. Grown ass men was walking up, and like at first they were just taking pictures with us because we was black. So that was number oh, one. They just shit. walked up. They was just like, hey, hey, hey. I don't see a lot of you motherfuckers. Click. Click. Oh. Like they would, they would just walk up to me like so, question. So, I have a question. You, you, me, you, me, you, me. Like they would just point at both of us. Like and is then there point a, at the camera and but, then just be like, first off, they was like, you tall and black. You play for somebody. I don't know who signed you. Do you have a okay? I, was I, that an issue? I'm just gonna take I, hey, yo, I, I don't even know if I asked you this when you people. went. Like here, as a nigga who knew when he fucking went, was it weird? Like is it like? Do you like have to balance between like this is just curiosity and this is racist as fuck? No, you don't get racist from it. You don't get that, Okay, racist. that's what I was wondering. Like, because I, I haven't been you yet. You get more like, it's almost like you feel like a celebrity to a degree. Okay. Because they don't treat you disrespectfully with it. Mm-hmm. They don't walk up to you like, hey, nigga. <laughs> they haven't been trained with that systemic shit. They like, just you, they don't make it. you take a bad picture. Yeah, like, it's just which, like their shout first out to time. America, like, that's y'all with the bullshit. Okay, that's all I wanted it's, to know. It's when you, you're almost like, they're not stepping on you. They're asking, they're like, can we? I'm like, all right, motherfucker, I guess. Like, I know you ain't seen nothing this fine before, but go ahead, bitch, snap a picture. How? Make okay. sure you get the shoes. Yeah, get the shoes. My second bitch. question, my second and question then is then it's like you get, you get like an old Thai man who comes up to you. He's like, oh, oh, man. He's like, all right. I ain't giving you no dick, but you get a pic, I guess, bro. This you is cool. how I know. Yeah, when you're pointing your hand, I'm seeing yeah. this. That's yeah, a, this is their phone. That like, nigga said, this is the phone. Hey, hey, <laughs> that's the phone. So they're saying, like, meet you picture. So they'll yeah, have no, their camera open. Big, broad, 
movement, like no. But it's no. I get you know it, yeah. we just landed. We walk. I'm walking no through bus. Bangkok. I've been, me and my lady. We landed at night time. You know they freaky. So it's Bangkok. just like. <laughs> DJ went to Thailand and didn't run the it's country. So, That's how I know this nigga has grown. Because all this, is, I'm like, you didn't just go, hey, man, let me find nah, y'all president and tell that nigga to get the fuck out of here. Nah, nah. You think that shit if you want to. I want to get Let me tell you something. We went to we went to Phuket. So Phuket back in the day. Y'all That's remember when Thailand, Thailand got hit by the Thailand. tsunamis and they were like, the island got fucked up. We yeah. went there. Okay. So they rebuilt it and everything. It still stinks, though, because a lot of shit there, they're still in the middle. They, uh. the, they rebuilt the outskirts by the beaches. Uh-huh. So like the touristy parts, but the inside... It's like all bushes and shit. So you got to like the guerrilla warfare type shit, cut down shit to go in there to fix it. And some of them niggas is just like, fuck it. They just went and rebuilt new shit it, in dry right. spots. And left, them, the, and left these mildew Yo. houses yes, in the did. middle. Like, oh, imagine shit. if you just had a bunch of, he said it stank a in whole the mildew house. <laughs> no, bro. And it's, I'm not saying it to be funny. It's, it's just the truth. Like, it's just fucking the truth. That's funny as fuck. That's fine, but what it is is that it's, it's it's fucking people. It's like dead bodies and kids and shit in there. He's like, oh, that's oh, hilarious. It stinks, well, nigga, <laughs> but it's God, like a tsunami God. hit. He and didn't it's, understood why it stank. It's that's a tsunami terrible. hit and people and things died, and it's so much shit that people can't go in to clean it up. You gotta fight through anacondas and shit to go. You gotta almost die to go get a dead motherfucker. You like fuck it. Let that nigga become soil. No, fuck him. No, okay. that nigga become yeah. fertilizer. Let time take it. Yeah, let time do its thing. Yeah, yeah. but. It shit stinks But when you're there On the touristy part You know Thailand is known For fighting Like Muay Thai and shit Yep So They're like Fucking kicking Phone poles and Bro shit. Listen We walking down the street Dan. Just kick Me and my Dude, lady they just kick it. We were going it's to get a massage shin. Nigga And the, they, they were handing out These flyers Just walking down the street And I realized Afterwards But when they gave it to me I didn't really look at it I just took it Oh you know I'm doing the Hollywood Boulevard thing I just take the shit And I didn't even really Really look at it they could have gave me ecstasy, cocaine, heroin in, on this little pouch, anything. I just took it and it was walking. I heard, ba, 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 ba. We ducked. We thought the shit was gunshots. Nigga, it was a truck riding down the street. Mm-hmm. A big, you know, like the TMZ double decker buses? Yeah. Big mm-hmm. ass bus riding down the street. It was a motherfucker standing on top of them shits, training. Mm. Nigga, he was kicking the bag. Oh, and that was oh, the sound, sound that you heard. like a I goddamn you were about gunshot. A talking about a no, fire. nigga. Then was feet Damn. and shins. <laughs> I dig that more tight shit. Leather. That was feet and shins. <laughs> was feet and shins no. hitting leather, nigga. And it sound like pa pa. It sound like a nigga really fired a gun. I was like, holy shit. And we were like, yo, that's crazy. And the ill thing about it is this is what's fucked up. So that's the big thing out there, too. Everybody does Muay Thai. But also, they have a huge transgender community. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of boy girls and just, like, drag queens and shit. So a nigga by day will be kicking a hole in a fucking wall barefoot. And then at night, he have his dick tucked and be a woman. And... Be giving massages at the parlors, securing yeah, bags on both ends. Wow. That shit is like it's a wild place, it's nigga. And like then on top mother, of that, like you gotta protect that. You know, shit most you pedophiles go to that. Thailand. Like that's the pedophile home. You go there and you can just like buy a kid. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. So it's a fucked up, uh, not a fucked up place, but it's a place where it's really like it's a dark side to Thailand when. They have these things, the ping pong shows, man. It's just it's a place uh, you go to the red yeah, light district. I, wanna, I, I know it was fucked up, man. I, I saw this. the temples and shit. That's oh, the temples I, are yeah, amazing, yeah, I'm, I'm beautiful, for, like, I'm beautiful gold trip. temples. Yeah. I'm not into going and doing some. We don't need no, to but do then that. they have like they have these um, river boat. They have river boat markets where it's like you literally go on these boats and people are selling stuff on the side of a river and they, other people have boats and they'll ride up to your boat and you can buy food and everybody sells different everything things. Out there, dude. Elephants. I'm an elephant lover, so I was completely against elephants. I'm an elephant lover. Don't nobody's gonna ever ride an elephant around me i will um i don't know i will give you food poison if you tell me you want to ride an elephant i'm not that person i did i did as a child but no. you know you one thing one thing i will will say about not that is uh is that they actually really not so much from the riding but there was a whole lot about the controversy of elephants in the circus yeah and a lot of that was actually what what we didn't hear about was there was supposedly evidence of them being abused what that was was actually a counter agent of somebody working for PETA going under and this was discovered during the court case the reason I bring this up is we actually have a painting me and my wife have a painting that was done by an elephant that was done in the circus and they actually studies showed that they actually benefited from this like as long as you're not telling them to paint like a certain shape but like if you just give an elephant like a brush and some paint 
Like they are very intelligent creatures that respond to these different types of interactions. No, one hundred percent. But like, yeah, no, like there, there is like a wide spectrum of of our interactions with them. But no, I, in my experience yeah. with them, like and just studying them and loving them because mm-hmm. they're beautiful animals. I agree. But I'm a thug though. Don't get shit <laughs> fucked up. I'm I love so everything. glad that you just did that yeah. transition because the whole time we're thinking, I'm like. This is hilarious. This dude like loves. Oh, elephants. bro, I elephants love elephants. Like this. No, no, like, no, no, no. And you, just, like, you have to stop. do You're certain like, shit. I will tell you from like you have to do certain shit, shit, From experience, bro. like it's not a joke. No, no elephant I love, love is a I can tell. Like, no, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, playing. Why would he do that? Yeah, I love elephants, bro. That's weird to be like, yo, I love elephants, but you don't. Yeah, that's just a stupid. Yeah, that would be so. But to do some of the things, okay, so. To even put those harnesses and things on their backs that they put on, yes, in the, that is yeah, that's breaking. Agreed. You have to break their backs, right. and as children, you make them you make them wear those cages and fit those things as they grow. You're you're uh, you're like shaping a, their like body a, like a melon in a box. Exactly, yeah, that's terrible. So those cages, but shout a out to square ca- melons. Whoa. So my one hundred sneaker okay. mask was actually oh the elephant. Yeah, it was yeah. an elephant Whatever's mask. Whatever's about to happen is fucking. Whoa. And I went and shot it up in Oregon at the wildlife uh, sanctuary there. So that's George. He was rescued uh, from some poachers out there, and he's been out in Oregon for like the last twenty years. Sheesh. And this was like the most insane experience I've ever had in my life, because what we found out afterwards is when elephants look at humans. They get the same sensations and chemicals pumped through their brain as when we look at puppies. I heard that before. See, that's that so fucked me this up. Out. So way, imagine yeah. I'm wearing an elephant mask in front of a real elephant, and the trainer was just like, "Leave it, leave," because he was like, "Yo, this is the dopest thing I've ever seen." And I was like, "I'm connecting with this giant fucking yeah. thing." And then like, it, for those for those who can't see, like anybody can see. I'm glad you guys can see through the app. Yeah, but um. It's it's the Jordan elephant print. So if you guys ever, for those yeah. that haven't noticed, when you see like the Seaman threes, that gray part with that little pattern, that's actually elephant print pattern. Mm-hmm. And that is what he made the Ooh, mask out of. Yeah, out of the three lab fives, uh, you can. Oh, see, you got a little elephant print on. There you go. There it is. Oh, right there. That's it right there. Ooh, yeah. Jordan, th- was that a three? Yeah, uh, that is a three one two. Three one two. The legacy yeah. joints, right? I have a question, like. Yo. That is that is so dope. I'm sorry, I'm staring at that. No, we were talking about elephant. elephant. Yeah, I had to yeah. had to that's share that. But yeah, so, such a big mask. Th- you know, we talk about love for elephants. So in the in the tusks on that, one of them because it's number 100 is a SD card with the 99 mask that came before it. But in the other tusk is a poem that I wrote about the history of elephants throughout human history. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, do you, you still mean. have that one? I do. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. We have to check. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull up on you. Check. No, that ass. Like I'm. I'm so right, ready to just pull right up there. for like. On the there list. it is. I didn't even notice it the whole time. I might have to. Wow. I might have to steal that. Yeah. That's fire. This is about to be. Uh, we're in uh, November. We're releasing my first vinyl toy, and it's based on that mask, and it's going to be. Bro, what that I, figure? You got it. We I got go. Yeah. Come got on, man. No, bro. Like I I'm dead you. serious. Like what? I got to do so much shit. Hey, with yo, my nigga. Dead ass. My brother. My brother. Like Say I no just, more. We're going to talk no, about yeah, it off no, air. We're going to talk about it no, off air. I love elephants, fire. bro. That's just my shit, man. I no, don't give like, a fuck. I didn't even have, like, uh, it took for you for me to have, like, a lot of the knowledge behind it. I just enjoy them as animals. And my granny, I feel like a lot of black grannies had, like, your oh, granny had, man. like, the fucking. Good luck, uh, bro, because you get the with elephants. The, the, the trunk up. Yeah, with, no, no. My granny has, like, when I you say You always house, have to have the, the trunk up. Was, you can't. It, it's only good luck if you exactly. have the trunk going up. Like, what you said, like, what you said before, like, I spent majority of my life in my granny house. You know, because, like, you know, like, everybody, it's a story. It's your granny. So, when I say every room in the house had, you know, elephants elephants with the trunk up, Mm -hmm. it didn't matter. Like, when me and my sister go buy stuff for my granny, like, it's always something that has, it's like, my sister has an elephant tattoo. Mm -hmm. I'm eventually going to get an elephant tattoo somewhere around here. Huh? There's painting in here. What about it? (laughs) (laughs) There you go, hey, it's, I, bro. I, I, it's, it's, it's elephants is energy, bro. Like dead ass, 100%. but no, like I don't even know what the fuck I said it with that. Just that, like elephants are like cool shit. My question was, is um, I was oh, go ahead, go ahead. elephant prick because it was going back to shoes because yeah, motherfuckers do like wild ass, dope ass shoe shit, art shit. I was wondering, like, just for everybody, like you know, this like shoe sneaker culture is a culture. Like, do you ever think about like what it is that made shoes? Like nobody is. 
Niggas like shirts, niggas like jeans, niggas like hats. But there is no sh- like I you don't there's no hat head. You start getting pussy off shoes. Oh, there's absolutely oh, hat yeah, heads. Yeah, they're, they're, but they're, 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 they're not like still underground. Not, yeah, yeah, it's yeah still but it's not like sneakers. Why like, he's what asking makes sneakers why the, just because, boom, because women you know what what start saying? fucking men off shoes. Women start going. I'm not giving up pussy if you ain't got clean shoes. That's what happened. Women start judging men off their motherfucking shoes. That's a my reason. My love of sneakers comes nowhere from women. But it has nothing to do with what they okay, think yeah, about what my, I'm wearing. Like, I have a thought on why I think do, it is, but yeah, I want to hear you guys on it. My love of sneakers, there's a couple of different places for it. It definitely is nostalgia. It has a lot to do with how I was raised, mm-hmm. things that I remember growing up, uh, big moments in, like, Jordan history and stuff like that. That's right. Okay. Uh, yeah. But for me, really, like, I love art. I love... I'm not a fashion person, per se, but, like, I love fashion. I love materials. Mm-hmm. I love architecture. I love lines. I love I love all these things. I love technology. And all of these things come together on shoes. And the shoes that I like, all of them converge on shoes and that's something that doesn't happen with a lot of things. Like there like the especially the pair I'm wearing right now. Like there's mm-hmm. a lot of tech, like early airbags and crazy like EVA midsoles and mixed with this with like sewn into the uppers and using high quality leathers and, and materials that used to be reserved for luxury lines and stuff like that are now put into like sport shoes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like I love all of these things converging together on a shoe and allowing you to express your all your interests through that. Like I wear all black for the most part and my shoes do all the the talking for me. Like it, these are my interests all right that, here. Okay. That, yeah. that that's my point right there is that like no matter how it goes like well Hip hop got me into it, like it just introduced me to that. Like that was the staple that you had to get right. Like it started from started from the kicks and went up from there. Mm-hmm. And and really, it taps into that. Like the rest of your shit could be fucked up, but if you got the right pair of kicks on, it's all right. Like because it it ties everything together. That kind of went for me. Like you guys are in line with what? Like when I thought about why, like as we were coming to talk, to, I was like, I got nothing, nothing to talk to him about except just regular shit. But yeah, like I I thought of that myself, just like the way shoes because i remember even in high school or whatever like since whenever shoes became important i was like why the fuck are shoes so much because i like shirts i like hats i clearly am a dad hat dude but it was like shoes have more of a history like you said sports i can relay like a pair of jordans to the pair of jordan war when he was sick and he fucking won mm-hmm. and then Blue i can games. relay those Definitely. to like wale wearing them while he's rapping about some shit mm-hmm. so now i got like two three four different levels as exactly. to why this mat this material is important yeah. to me right and i can and honestly yeah like it just and then you want, you, you're, you're building up to like the moment which was kanye wearing his nike during the grammys there's that mm-hmm. that, All is, the, yeah. that is basically the moment Mm-hmm. Uh, of our generation, in terms of like mm-hmm. if the the later ones that that didn't experience Jordan as much as I did or I got to, mm-hmm. like that is right. their moment was like this right. like Agreed. he's the first person that's not an no, athlete yeah. to ever get a signature shoe yeah and God, it was debuted yeah. at, at on that level of a stage mm-hmm. no one had seen it before mm-hmm. you know what I mean like sample that pair like, was that was the too. ultimate like yeah, the ultimate like, level of like ultimate musical star mm-hmm. platform that is the ultimate mm-hmm. level of when you're a musical star where you want to be. And he said something about Jordan, the flu game and all that stuff. It wasn't flu game specifically, but Matt Halfhill, not to quote him, but, like, he was the one who related Kanye in that Grammy moment, that being his championship game mm-hmm. after Jordan's dad died. Like, that was, like, that was, like, that was, like, that yeah. kind of connection. I, I almost felt yeah. like I was snapping my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that, that was, that was kind yeah. of my thing. Like, I'm, like, there's just more, I guess, history and things you can relate to shoes than you can a T-shirt or because I guess and I also I think, I think they also, last longer too. Yeah, I think there's more things you can do. I think, like I said, like my thing. I think there's more things you can do in shoes. Like if I, I don't know, Babe Ruth hit this fucking shit with this bat. I'm not gonna carry this bat to the club, right. but I can wear <laughs> these shoes. shoes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. like there's it, just it's, shoes. It's expression it tells a story. That yeah, it's, it's like, more of an association. Yeah, like, like Jerry Rice pop whatever with these gloves and these cleats, but I can't wear these shits out. And that that yeah. sentiment of like, where did your shoes take you today or well, wherever? Yeah, that sentiment right. doesn't exist. Walk for a mile. Shirt. And where did man's where did that shirt take you? That makes sense. I didn't even think of that. That's a good point. Like your shoes are like it's such an important. Everyone wears shoes in some form every day. 
most people. Like, most there people are barefoot people, people out there, right. absolutely. <laughs> and the people that are enthusiasts about that, they're like, you're connected sure. to the ground, there's vibrations and electricity and <laughs> sure. all this stuff. And that's true. I'm not saying it's not true, but like... Dan hates you people. Yeah, <laughs> Let me say yeah, it for yeah, you. Yeah, 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 I don't he like really it. Put a soul on yeah, your foot, yeah, bitch. Yeah, he really shit, smokes you vibrational on. people. Like, oh, you got yeah. an Oregon crystal pussy? Like, I get. I have baby feet. I go to get, to, <laughs> I get a pedicure and I get laughed at. They're like, this guy has... Like the foot of a baby, because I walk around with fresh socks, sneakers every fucking day. You know yeah, what I mean? I like, mean, a guy who wears sneakers. Like, like yeah, yeah, they're they're they look fine. Like they're not like all beat up, like wraps barefoot in, uh, or or cling flip wrap flop. I don't like flip flop Sleeps wearing in a bag. Yeah, dog, I wear flip flops so much. Yeah, I actually I, like. I always forget I own I'm shoes. Fully like, aware that most people so wear flip flops. I am a barefoot king, man. Like I am king of being barefoot, and my son has that shit. Now I'm up against the wall. No, like, no. <laughs> I'm so bad that my son, like, he, my first thing, bro, comes in the house, kicks off his shoes, kicks off his socks, shit over his shoulder. He doesn't even yeah. drop them. He yeah. takes the extra energy to flip shit them fuckers over his, over his shoulder. shoulder. Like, most people just take them off and just drop them at their sides. He's yeah. like, fuck this. Yeah. I've had to burn them. Yeah, he's expressing yeah, 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 he's yeah, letting yeah, you yeah. know how much yeah. of a burden I'm, these fuckers exactly. are. Exactly. The next yeah. thing is the socks, both yeah. socks, yeah. over the shoulder. And he's to the room. Like yeah. they're wet and they just stop yeah. against the wall just, and then slide down. Just poop, poop. 100%. 100%. And, and he's, to, he's on the hardwood floor barefoot, poop, slapping poop. his way to the room. Just Even being a sneakerhead, I'm barefoot yeah, when I'm like, at home. I would have been like, yeah. and he was like, poop, poop. Oh, you haven't seen my yeah. son's feet. They didn't like, explode in the air when he threw them. <laughs> <laughs> so wet socking. Yo, who the fuck told it to be 453? Oh shit! Are we? Is that seriously a thing? Yeah, that's really what time. Damn, is. we've been talking. It's <laughs> cool as fuck. Ah, that was a question wow. I wanted to ask you, fuckers. Um, oh, here we go. Before we get out of here, yep. Uh, it's the easiest hard question ever. Easiest hard question. Yeah, it's okay, the easiest like hard question the... ever. Top three. Let's go. Top Run them off. Top sneakers? three sneakers. Top three. All sneakers. time. We talking hey, color models or, or like color. See, he told you it's the hardest. See, yeah. <laughs> models. Let's go models. Yeah. Models. Yeah. Models. Yeah. Models. Yeah. Yeah. Models. Yeah. models. Let's go. No, you go. All right, bet. Uh, Air Max 90, Jordan 3, Air Max 1. Air Max 1, Ooh. Jordan 1. Uh, and it's always been important to me, but as of recently, I only got my first pair. It just made it to the top. Uh, Air Max Plus. <gasps> mm. I ain't mad at it. I just wanted to say, mm, because I just be put, I just grab whatever yeah, so I like. Yeah, that's two Air Max, one Jordan. My brother, my brother, my brother. We got two out of three the same. Jordan 3. Air Max ninety. Yeah, the Air Max one was my wild card. Like, cause that can that can differentiate. It's and so that, and my on third one is probably gonna be my wild card too. But I would probably have to say three stripe Adidas. Oh, the classic uh, Shelto. 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 Yeah. Shelto. Shelto. I ain't yeah. mad at that. Cause cause Shelto what got me into the stripe. game were Sheltos, the Air Force One lows, and Timberlands. Like you know what I mean? Like it was the classic staples yeah, of the yeah, culture. Because kind of like, I didn't have the money Air to be spending right? on the wild <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's kind of you didn't up. need a lot of money. Not even that's like, why like, the coaches that got wasn't even on the radar. It took me. I, I've been into it well. I've been doing this for like fifteen years at least, uh, and it took me in the last three, four years to even dabble in Air Force Ones. Like it wasn't my sneaker, mm. and now I love them and I have respect for them. I think a lot of that has to do with me gaining a bunch of weight and like getting bigger yeah, and like yeah, yeah. these, these look a, better the airbag on me. Responds I don't know. If and and it, a, like you just said, it is a different shoe if you got some weight in it. If you're like it's a little a, like shape of your foot, I can't wear. Like, I can't how you wear just bricks? No. It all changes. Yeah. Everything. See now that's the thing now though. Like big bulky white shoes, people mm-hmm. are. That's the thing now. So like skinny people and like girls and like, dresses are wearing like filas. What the fuck? They're gonna be coming out with the orthopedic shoes. Those are so heavy. Heavy. Yeah, they I picked up a pair of those. The them should make you look like Wayne. The only S, chunky S, joints S, I like New Age joints are the chain reactions. What are they, oh, oh, chain chain reactions. reactions. Shout out to Salehi because yeah. those are the sickest. That soul. Oh, as soon as I saw that Cuban link, I was like done. That is a beautiful of shoe. the past twenty five years. Beautiful Easily. shoe. Easily beautiful. the Easily. coolest midsole uh, uh, new creation that's happened. Soul. That soul shoe is a work of art. That's I'm a I'm a I'm Versace buyer. Dying for a pair. I'd love to know how to spend full price. Versace Kith piece, little bucket reversible hat. Oh, it was like more. Kith. It was more. Uh, I, I could reason with myself because like, it was too like they one. Shit. So you know, it's who, not who price type of shit. Yeah, you gotta quit coming oh, here hitting the stuff. Yeah, yeah, Ronnie, yeah, I'm gonna need the link. We're gonna have to get king. together on this. Stock it's heads, a man. king. Who? Yeah, see, I'm Dude, like, I remember I'm, my my Ronnie story right now. I don't have a story. I've never met the person, but like, what I love about Kith, not only do they they make fantastic fashion like clothing like products or shit is on. 
par, I'd say, with like a fucking Polo Ralph Lauren in terms of quality and mm-hmm. like longevity. Like this mm-hmm. is a piece mm-hmm. that's made properly. They don't miss, and it will last for fucking twenty years. There, you know there will mean? be like, vintage Kith pieces. Absolutely, I for love, some brands I love there will the, not exactly, be a vintage. Yeah, there will right. be Kith that will last a long time. Yeah. and he collaborates with everybody. That's what mm-hmm. I know. No one does not like, fuck see, with Kith and mm-hmm. his vision. And there was a Birkenstock story that came out where the guy Birkenstock was like, nah, like why would we work with Supreme? We don't need to work with Supreme. We don't need that. And then and then a mm-hmm. week later, he not an announcement, Kith. but yeah. like the release of Kith's Birkenstock, Birkenstock. comes yeah. out. Oh, because yeah, like they just do it right. Like they, the brands just respond to his I feel vision. good about that now. Because like I just follow shit or like I'll look at shit. Kith is much more m- personable to me. Ronnie, like, I don't even he, think about you know, that. He, it just he makes him a legend. Basics. Absolutely. Like he yeah, I don't know if there's anyone that like it wow, sound like that if I can hear that through the headphones. Zipping. What's crazy yeah, is yeah. you might it might not come through on it just because we're in here. Because that shit happened on is that another one episode. of your sound effects, like the applause. Nah, <laughs> that shit happened on another episode, and I swear I didn't hear the shit. But for us, it sounded like the motherfuckers was drifting on this motherfucker. That's the yeah. sun, yeah. man. Took these headphones Yo, off. Yo, I was ready to like. <laughs> like I I don't want to play pussy, but I I was ready to duck because I thought yeah. they was coming through the window. Like I was, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, sound like <laughs> wildfire. I'm about to say, <laughs> sons of anarchy done came. Yeah, that was a helicopter fire right there. But um, no, yeah, I just think Kith is way more personable than Supreme. I think Supreme is just made. I'm super like, yeah, I, I mean, I'm late shout to the out game. to his Supreme shirt. Like, I, I don't want to. I don't, I don't like, know I'm your like, association. No, no, no. I'm I'm late to the game on Supreme. Like when everybody was on it, I was like, yeah, I don't see, I don't see the appeal. And then I bought this fucking Flectron camo pocket tee, and I was like, yo, I really like the cut. I like the weight of it. That's so, so I was like, specific, let me, though, Let bro. me double down. <laughs> it's so specific. <laughs> well, look. It's a really sick shirt. I've seen it, and you ordered another one. I, I, I did. I'm all about it, but like that, that you're loving one shirt. Well, but then I went and ordered the other pocket tees and <laughs> shit, so now I got like four hey, fucking like pocket tees for I mean, the, the reverse like, Terry cloth. The man. right pieces. How can like, I, I'm shit? not a supreme. I haven't Some been. Some ghost face. Don't make sure there's no lint on my robe. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. I can't pimp like this. I can't pimp like this. <laughs> These bitches is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Pretty Tony. Yeah, see, I need I need y'all around because like he's my like go to like fashion dude. I just be like, oh, this shit looks good, and like, boom, I'm into it. There ain't nothing but, wrong like, with that. But yeah, see, like the That's the, the intricacies. Uh, like I'm in, I'm into it, but I'm so I'm too lazy sometimes to be I like. I just like how his I'm story too cheap. From earlier where his mom was like, I want some Greg Lorenz. I want some Greg Lorenz. I'm cheap, like cheap like as fuck too. But like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. God damn, like, what? Like I just I like it for me. I'm like the president. I delegate fashion people around me, so I'm like, all right, I'll never be. Yeah, I'll never be trash. But yeah, I'm lazy. I don't feel comfortable in t-shirts to this day because of that damn. Like because mom's, See, yo, mom's shirt? dead like, ass. But it's, would a, it's a let sick collar. That is not that's a normal collar. That's a great collar shirt. Okay, like moms wouldn't See, let me you got wear flowers on there. Change. See, moms made me wear collar shirts, and I was yeah, like, I can't so it's do like it. she gave me the drip without knowing it. she was giving me. I waited hurt. tables in collar we shirts. So oh, my mom used to dress me. No, but it gotta be swaggy though. Like it gotta be swaggy. I can't just. But see, I got those pictures. Oh, it's time. It it kind of is like I plug your shit like say your shit like oh yeah, yeah out every it. Wednesday six p.m. on YouTube dot com slash sneaker inc. I'm yeah. freehand profit at freehand profit. Yeah, you know, I'm right at late night color Dano at uh, sneaker inc. Follows at sneaker inc. Man, yeah. One day we gonna figure out how to end this shit on time and with an actual ending. But until then, like to be continued. Yeah, right? to be continued on no, our yo, podcast. Yo, yo, this oh, without a doubt, because yeah, we're, we're going to air it out. Yeah, Absolutely. we can yeah. smoke weed there. Yeah, yeah we're, we're going to air it out. We're gonna okay. go to yeah, yeah, our, yeah. our gallery right down the street. And Not that, even just that. I want this on air. Like I really like this was. That. It wasn't no like four shit. This was some really no, good conversation yeah. with some dope ass niggas. So like, yeah, fuck with y'all. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you for for sure because you're the like contact of who who we met at the show. Hit it up and it became Love this. It. So yeah, Dano, if you I, ever I need anybody shot, yeah, I got some cousins in Compton. Dude, wouldn't be an air show Cheers. without him. To Cheers Dano, all right. all I got right. a body for okay. you, man. If you need it, anybody yeah. need to get shot, I got a cousin in Compton right. who will take him out for you. Dano. This is nice. I, I, right, this is nice. Dano's like I got <laughs> yeah. the name. Yeah, exactly. Well, I came here for a body. <laughs> I came here. I came here to kill him up. I came here to kill him up. All right, y'all. That's uh. 
That's it. That's us. The Just a Dope Ass Podcast. Instagram. Say bitch. Fucking See no SoundCloud, out, bitch. iTunes, motherfucking, uh, what's the other one? Spotify. Yeah. All the One platforms. and only EJ on Instagram. Shout out to my Instagram. Go follow Stinker and go buy you some shit. And the, the Aired Out Show. Aired Out, Aired out Show. Aired out show. Yeah. Wednesdays. Wednesdays. 6 p.m. And when that artist Stinker shit, glass. I better see all you bitches grabbing books and, and all types of shit and becoming instant artists. Oh, yeah. We're going to put the link go up put on our uh, Instagram. It's a good way to yeah. impress your Tinder date. Dead Boom. ass. Whatever funky ass city you live in, go put it in your local museum. All right, y'all. We out. That's the greatest shit ever. It's <laughs> a great way.